you deserve to thrive in every way. When you feel your best physically, mentally, and emotionally, you can tackle life's challenges and explore more opportunities. Don't let fatigue, GI discomfort, unpleasant mood swings, and excess weight slow you down. The key to feeling healthy, happy, and confident each day lies inside your mighty microbiome. Science has revealed a powerful link between beneficial microbes in your GI tract and improved health. Gut flora impacts your digestive system, metabolism, sleep quality, mood, and even your weight. Your gut is also where 70% of immune cells live and where 90% of your serotonin is created. Evidence suggests that beneficial microbes support the body's immune response. Gut bacteria can even send signals to the brain through what's known as the gut-brain axis. These communications play a key role in helping you experience an improved mood and reduced feelings of stress. Simply put, a healthy gut means a healthy you. It's all about striking the right balance. Food, lifestyle choices, and the environment can throw this balance off, but there's something that can help. Plexus Triplex is the supercharged boost your gut needs to reduce unwanted microbes and increase beneficial microbes for a balance that works in your favor. With this comprehensive system, you'll support your gut in three ways. Just like a garden, when you weed, seed, and feed your gut, better health blossoms from within. BioCleanse helps to weed the gut by reducing unwanted microbes and supporting your body's natural cleansing processes. ProBio5 helps weed out unwanted intestinal yeast and seeds your gut with healthy probiotics. And Slim Microbiome Activating feeds these probiotics the prebiotics they need to thrive. Slim also helps support healthy glucose metabolism and offers targeted weight loss support with Slim Hunger Control. Shift the balance back in your favor and thrive. With scientifically backed ingredients and countless benefits, Triplex is the smartest choice you can make for your gut, your health, and to thrive. Health and God bless you, everybody. That's not my camera, by the way. God bless you, everybody. Welcome to the first ever telethon done by The One TV. I'm so excited. Um, there you go. My graphic came back. Look how beautiful that is. Um, welcome, everybody, to the first ever One TV telethon. I'm so excited. Uh, my team and I, aka I, have been working tirelessly to put this together this week because my team knew nothing. And um, I'm just doing what the Lord has told me to do. But um, I'm sh you'll see in a moment that it's not just myself here. Um, it is my myself and my beautiful friend, Miss Linda Hunt. Um, <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, we are And um, <laughs> man, I don't mean to be funny, but the camera will make you look like you got a couple extra pounds. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm getting used to it's it. It's truth. <laughs> <laughs> so, Miss Linda, I'm so excited that you're here with oh, me. Oh my. And, um, uh, this is going to be such a wonderful journey that we're going to take here together today. And if I'm stumbling on my words a little bit, it's because I'm not a pro like you behind the camera. I'm on the other side. Um, but before we get started, um, I, I, I need to uh, put something kind of out in the open here. Before we get started, we are going to start with, um, with worship and praise because the Bible says, enter his courts with thanksgiving and praise and the one network is first and foremost to give God the glory and honor so right now that's exactly what we're going to do we're going to give God the glory and honor as we go into worship with one of our um, one of our host daughters and somebody that I have had such the honor of meeting here at the network and um, I'm super excited and as you can see we're uh, my wife and I are producing together I'm controlling sound and my wife is controlling everything else there. Um, so everybody give a, a round of applause for my Yay, wife, Ida. Whoop, 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 whoop. Ida. I'm so excited for her. Did she really just get excited with us? Um, so anyway, we're going to go into worship right now. I ask you to sincerely worship. And before we get, before we even go there, 
do me a favor. Um, call a neighbor, call a friend, call your enemy, don't call my enemies, um, and let's get this telethon started, okay? I want you to share this with everybody, put it on the television in your home, listen to it wherever you are while you're making dinner, while you're eating Burger King, while you're eating vegan food, whatever it is you enjoy, um, and we're going to go into worship, um, and then we'll get started with the giving part. And um, don't go anywhere. This is right. sincerely a fabulous program we've put together. It's not just a whole bunch of begging for money. In fact, it's no begging for money. But it's a wonderful program um, that goes all the way back into 2015 when we got started. So um, let's go and let's honor the Lord. And you proved it with the nails 
reckless love for you. This is your reckless love for you. Tearing down anything in your path, Lord, just to you and my father. This is your wreck. It's something about a father that when he knows his child needs him, he abandons everything to run and get his child. There's an instinct that a father has that just catches you. Now I carry your DNA. No more daddy issues. No more daddy issues. No more daddy issues. Cause I have a father. No more daddy issues. No more daddy issues. No more daddy issues. Come on, say, cause I have a father. I have a father. No more daddy issues. Come on, say that out. No more daddy issues. No more daddy issues.
God bless you. God bless you. Welcome back. That worship was just so amazing. And I love going into the presence of God. Um, Miss Linda had to tell me to basically keep quiet because she could hear me in her ear. <laughs> um, so I'm so you excited. Sing, it'd be something I different. Know. Oh, she, she did me wrong like that, Joe. It's okay. I'll get you later. So um, I just, before we get started, I just wanted, that's what I'm supposed to be doing, right? Prayer. Um, before we get started, I just want to pray. Hand me the sheet of paper. Um, I just want to get started with prayer and then let's get this amazing program going. So, Father, I just thank you right now this oh, evening, God. Lord. Father, we come before you, God. We thank you, Lord, for your magnificent presence, Lord, even mm. in the studio, God. We welcome you into this place, Lord. Let your presence reside and dwell here, Lord. Father, I thank you for every single one of the hosts that do their programs from here. Every single one of the hosts, it's family, Lord. Mm -hmm. And God, I thank you for them, God. We thank you for those that are here and those that are yet still coming. And Lord, we just thank you so much, Father. We just want to say we love you. And Father, Linda, if we could just go right now, we just rededicate yes, the studio God. back yes, onto God. you, God. Yes, God. We just rededicate yes, the studio Lord. back onto you. And even my... Yes, um, my my producer in the back, just lift your hands if you can. And let's just rededicate the studio back to God. Father, we rededicate this before you. We rededicate this before you, Lord. For surely we started this for you, God. And we will continue to do this for you, God. We love you and we honor you, Father. And we thank you for this magnificent day. Amen. You know, I learned a long time ago that no matter what we did, even if we were a for-profit business, or you, um, didn't matter where we were, yes. we were always going to honor God first. Yes. Um, and in the beginning, as we were as a team, kind of getting used to each other, and Linda was getting used to me, and I was getting used to her, um, I, I think she thought, thought it a little bit strange that this crazy prophet, every time we go into business meetings or whatever, he want to lay prostrate and flat on his face on the floor. Um, but it's sort of become a trend around here. Um, from the Ford building onwards, even up to now, that we always end up on the floor somehow, or the guests somehow always end up on the floor. And um, uh, although Linda has shoes on at the moment because she's in the studio, this other trend has started, which I know just drives you absolutely wild. Um, I've started this trend where people don't wear shoes in here because it's holy ground. Yes. Um, not because we tell them to, they just take off their shoes right. and it just happens. Um, and it's, you know, that's become part of the family. So, um, you know, the viewers don't know. But I'm excited for the, the, the show, the you know, program that they're going to see, not just because they get to see it, but because you get to see it. Yes. Um, and none of my team has seen any of this. I've sort of worked on it quietly behind the scenes. My wife has seen one or two things, um, but not, not a whole lot. Um, so uh, I think, if I'm not mistaken, 
Yes, I think if I'm not mistaken. So uh, the first clip I want to show you guys, I found it. Uh, I found it in our archives, um, and this is kind of what what was God's way of speaking to me to let me know to do the the telethon. We've only ever done one telethon ever because it was never been our our plan to do telethons. But the Lord spoke then, and He spoke this time for us to do it. So I'm being obedient. Um, so I'd love for you to see this video clip of my spiritual mother or my then spiritual mother because I have a really cool one now too. Um, that passed away for many of you know Dr. Rhoda Bird. And um, the beautiful thing about video is it's no matter if they're gone, they can, you know, what happened, the anointing that they shared with us at one time um, can always be here with us. So watch this clip and we'll be right back. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the 24 Hours of Giving. I am Dr. Rhoda Bird, your host for tonight. We are excited about this uh, newfound project we're doing. <laughs> we are excited for all of the cheerful givers that just tuned in through our live stream. And I'm just excited about this subject that we believe the Lord has given us to talk about today. So, uh, phenomenal media outreach uh, to, to win souls for the kingdom of God. We bring words of encouragement, words of hope, words of healing, words of deliverance. And if there's accuracy, it's biblically founded. And we are getting testimony after testimony how awesome uh, God has been to those who have partaken of the programs that are, that are played here. 24 hours of giving. So we are here to talk to the cheerful givers who love to be a blessing to the work of the kingdom. Yes, those who understand that it's better to give than receive. Now, I have been able to, through the grace of God, to sow for many years, whether it's my time, money, words of encouragement, prayer, God has blessed me to do so. And I have saw the results in my personal life, uh, financially and more so emotionally. I just find it refreshing to be a blessing. And so this program, uh, was geared towards uh, the cheer for givers. Let's talk about how and why we're doing this a little bit. So Exodus 25, 1 through 8, you can read it at your leisure, but I'm going to read a little bit about uh, Exodus 25, 1 and 8. This is what came to me. Um, the first verse says, And the Lord spoke unto my Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, that they bring me an offering of every man that giveth it willingly with his heart, ye shall take my offering. And it said, And this is the offering which shall be taken of them gold, silver, and brass, blue, purple, scarlet, fine linen, and goat's hair, ram skin dyed uh, red, badger skin, shittum <laughs> wood. I am not cussing. I'm just trying to say this correctly. Oil for the light, spices for anointed oil, and for sweet incense, onyx stones, and stones to be set in the ephod and in the breastplate. And let them make me a sanctuary that I may dwell among them. So this was for like the giving of the people was to build the tabernacle where the spirit of God could dwell. Here we have our virtual tabernacle. Um, the virtual tabernacle is where we invite the the presence of the Lord to dwell among us and go throughout our media outlets, okay? And his presence, which um, in his presence is the fullness of joy. In his presence, uh, as we take the light and minister to the Lord through worship, through through the programs that we have that some of them are, are, are teaching, some are just uh, sh helping people with daily living, whatever the case may be, we invite God's presence to go through our media lines to reach the heart of his people. For the cheerful givers to be a part of this opportunity to be a blessing unto a ministry that is doing everything we know possible within our powers to please God. I was thrilled and excited. And I'm a person that I kind of like the word to back up any actions that I do, especially when we deal with money. Because when we started this company, we have made a decision. We were not doing telethons. We were not going to beg for money because the Bible said, I've never seen the righteous forsaken nor the seed begging bread. We know we're seed of the righteous. We were not going to 
put pressure on other people to give we just wanted to delight ourselves in God and be a blessing to his people walking by faith and not by sight and and just focus on encouraging the people let them know there are availabilities to donate and just trust God to do it but sometimes uh, there come a time where we need to go just a little extra mile to let the people know about the advancement and let them know about what we have been blessed to now do Prophet Blaine, who is one of the owners here, sent out a wonderful email talking about the milestones that we have reached. And so with that being said, we now are expanding to uh, different offices. Um, we have expanded from just radio. Which, so with these expansions, it requires a little bit more. And so we reached out to, like I said, the cheerful givers and said, hey, this is an opportunity. We're inviting you to sow. So how can you sell in a, a, a diversity of ways if you are a person of desire to sow prayer into our life please by all means we love scriptural uh, prayer with a heart that's not full of malice but a heart that's full of love for God's people to sow prayer hallelujah the Bible said he put his word uh, in, in, in uh, Israel's mouth that's Isaiah 51 and 16 to plant the heavens by all means plant the heavens with your righteous prayers we appreciate prayer my goodness the Bible said the seed and Luke uh, 8 and 11 is the word of God so for those who have uh, the, the word of the Lord in their hearts uh, to uh, sow on behalf of us in righteous prayers we encourage you and we thank you in advance for those that say you know what I may only have a few bucks but I would like to um, sow what I have amen so sow your heart out I mean whether it's five dollars or it, we can go a little bit higher fifty dollars five hundred a thousand dollars or more we thank you because it's precious in our sight you know jesus said um he sat near the offering plate in the bible and it said it was the widow who gave her last it's not in the quantity it's it's what you've done from your heart that we appreciate the quantity helps us because now we are <laughs> in need of staff we we, we are expanding uh, the growth is quite rapid right now and we want to continue to be on that wall building for the kingdom of God like Nehemiah did and so finances is, is, is necessary but we want you to know that we appreciate whatever God put on your heart to do the fact that you are cheerful and not grudgingly in doing it how exciting and so uh, we do this uh, 24 hour uh, giving by faith because Exodus 25, 1 through 8, sent out a decree. The prophet sent on the decree on behalf of what God told him. And we know that the word tells us in, in uh, Chronicles uh, to believe in the Lord and you'll be established. And to believe in the, in the prophets and you'll prosper. And we, oh my goodness, <laughs> not only did they respond, they did it willingly. Where can I sow it? Where can I give it? We welcome your abundance. We welcome, I mean, bring it on. <laughs> Let me explain something to you. We refuse to get online every hour talking to folks about money. We're not going to do that. Welcome back, everybody. My goodness, that was such a wonderful. That was such a wonderful clip to go back to. For those of you that don't know, that was... Mm, that was a hard one to open up onto. Uh, for those of you that don't know, that used to be my spiritual mother. The one that helped uh, launch this out. That helped me us get started. Well, she, she started it. We started it together. And, um, and it, I found that clip and I just thought, you know, we've only done this one other time. Um, and I accidentally found that clip. Uh, oh, don't start because I'm sniffling too. Um, so you see, this is so actually I want to I want to share with you guys. You can go to or both of us. Um, I want to share with you guys that that is the first time ever yes. that we've actually shared, um, gone in the archive and shared videos from when we first got started. Um, and a part of that was it was just for me anyway, I don't know for everybody else, but for me it was just a little too difficult. Um, but I'm glad I did it because that was like really dope. <laughs> 
Amen. Was that nice to see yeah, her? It was. It was. It was good to see Rhoda. I'm telling you, it was just like she was here. And I told Blaine when she was talking about hosting. Yeah, she was hosting she with did. us. It's yeah, so cool. she's hosting with us. And I know that she is looking down here and, and she's smiling from heaven, knowing that we have carried the vision. We kept the torch alive. We yes, did we not do. let it die. And um, that is in honor of her and all of her hard work and prayers and all of the things that she did because yes. Rhoda was such a giving person and such a loving person. You know, she, I learned everything I learned about sowing <coughs> and reaping because when I first in, initially met Mama, um, I was not really one to give to, um, I mean, I had a heart of, of giving, but I was not one to give to the church or, you know, particularly not pastors and all that. And um, in fact, I was barely saved when I met her, to be honest. Um, but I learned so much about giving through her. And, and sometimes I'd be like, lady, there's something. You've lost your marbles. Because she'd, she'd give even when she didn't she have to give. Back. I mean, she'd give everything. <laughs> yes, she and would. she's literally given people this, you know, we'd have stuff and she'd give it she'd give it away or people weren't able to pay and she'd say you know I'm sponsoring you and I'd be like how are you sponsoring them you ain't even got money um, <laughs> but I learned so much and I, I learned so much about um, seed time and harvest um, from her and um, I really know I, I really believe in faith oh my god that lady had some crazy faith um, I learned how to have faith and to do things in faith and you, you know Linda will tell you, uh, we do stuff around here sometimes that doesn't make no sense. It's not logic. <laughs> it's not logical. Um, <laughs> but I love it. I, I, I yes. wouldn't live any other way. Um, I wouldn't live any other way. Um, so as we get started, um, I want my wife to put that stuff up on the screen. As we get started, I want you all to see that there's a plethora of ways to give at the bottom of the screen. Um, whether you want to do Cash App or PayPal or Venmo, um, or you can even call us, 248-653-5401. Um, and there is, uh, we do have our partners standing at the lines to take those uh, donations, um, those gifts. And you'll, as we go through the program, you'll see more and more why it's important. Um, and you can also go to our website at www.theone.tv. Um, and... Uh, I, call yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I think I did. I tell them to call. Okay, two four eight six five three fifty four one. You can right. call, and um, our partners will answer the the phone. So, um, I look for. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, so I just for a moment, Linda, before we you know let's kind of just yes. slow this down before we go into the next next part of it. Um, I just I, I'm looking for what is what has the Lord shared with you about where we're going? What what is what's coming up next? I mean, I know He shared a lot with me, but I want them to hear from you, so I'm not running my mouth all over. Well, you know, as I share with you so many times in our private conversations, and I tell you all the time because I know where you came from because <clears throat> I was here. <laughs> and I've seen the growth in not only in the network, but, but I've seen it in you as well. And, um, you know, knowing that you were a prophet, a young prophet then, I've gotten a little older. Um, <laughs> Thank you. In the, six, my <laughs> in the six years that I, I've seen you, um, and I've seen your growth, and I've seen the Praise faith God. that you had, um, and you still have. And as I tell you, you know, as I shared with you not too long ago, and the Lord had dropped it on my heart, I came into the office that day, and I said, your faith got you here. So sure always. Did. Faith got us here. That's it. I said, you don't have to ever depend on anything that is outside of the faith realm of God. Yes. Because I know it was the faith that brought you here when you didn't have money, yes. when you were homeless, yes. when you were sleeping in the cars, you know, yes. going from hotel to hotels, just taking or getting whatever money you had for that day to pay for the hotel that night. Mm -hmm. Uh, going to the restaurants and not knowing how you're going to really pay the bill. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's so funny. You're talking, she's talking about the hotels. They, you know, there was sometimes, it didn't happen, well, that's not entirely true, but sometimes we just trusted God. But with the hotel thing, sometimes we had to leave in the morning <laughs> and uh, hopefully, if if you happen to be in the situation, you're living in hotels, let me teach you something. Don't tell, tell anybody this. Um, shh. Um, but sometimes we'd have to leave the hotel in the morning and mama would say, well, well we can't leave because we'll get locked out. I was like, no, I'm going to the office. We're not going to get locked out. So we put the sign on the door to tell them not to come in to clean, okay? And then we would leave and put a piece of paper in the door so it wouldn't latch, so they wouldn't lock us out. 
because <laughs> we didn't have any money. Um, but we kept doing this because we knew this is what God called us to do. And God provided. Yes, he, he came did. through. Yes, he did. So, you know, so I, I'm just, as, as a word of encouragement to you, um, just keep that level of faith, that Amen. same level of faith, Amen. and even the more of where God has taken you because he's taken you wider, he's taken you deeper, and he's taken you higher, oh, you know. Himself. And so you know my, uh, my motto is, you know, is every Upgrade Saturday. Upgrade your thinking. <laughs> expand your capacity because, because God, God wants, wants to, to give you more. more. That's right. <laughs> and so that, that, that's, you know, my word for you. The same thing that I say to my viewing and listening audience every Saturday morning is, you know, leap into your destiny. Upgrade your thinking. Thank you, expand your capacity because God wants to give you more. And so that, that's what you have to do in this season. And I know sometimes leaping, and I'm going to give you a word the Lord gave me a little later, okay. but um, leaping into your destiny, and it's, it's, it's not easy sometimes because it's fearful uh, when you don't no. always, yeah, I know. Because <laughs> I mean, and I thank God for your faith because it was your faith that got me to be an author. And really, it was your faith that, you. trust me, that got me to write my first book. <laughs> Come on, Lord. Come on, Lord. And so, um, you know, when I didn't know that I was an author, didn't think that I had anything to say, didn't think that I could do a broadcast and now over almost close to 1,200 people in the last six years that I have um, been on the air as the Marketplace Connection. Yeah, and actually we're going to see that in one of the clips. Yes. Um, so. This is an astonishing number to me, um, and I guess I'll share two statistics here. Um, from the inception, um, from the time that Linda has, has started the Marketplace Connection, she has, uh, she has produced about 1,200 shows and has interviewed slightly less than 1,200 people. And by mm -hmm. slightly less, I mean she's interviewed about 1,000, 1,100 people. And I can honestly count on maybe my hands and my toes the total amount of... <laughs> <laughs> my producer, my wife said, I don't think I've met that many people in my life. And um, <laughs> honestly, it is you that brought a lot of attention to our network because you kept interviewing these people. Um, but I knew the first time I, I met Linda, um, <laughs> we had met her, you know, she, she talks about that in, in a minute, um, how we met. But I remember the first time I actually laid eyes on Linda, didn't know her from, from anywhere. And as soon as I came in her presence, I just knew she had to have a show. Although we went to meet with her because she was going to become our sales director. Mm -hmm. and At our first uh, client. Yes, our first <laughs> client. And um, interestingly enough about this first client, so I, I'll share this real quick so I don't run my mouth too long. Um, I don't know if you know this. Maybe you know this. I don't know if I've told you this. So this first client um, who is uh, still very close to us, um, this particular client was the first client we ever got and Miss Linda got us this client. And um, we went to this, um, she was having an event, and we went to pick up um, her deposit money for her program. Now, it's our first client, right? So we're geeked. It's the first time we're getting a deposit from a client. And we know that she's going to be there like six months. So, you know, at that time, our $175 a month payment for four hours a month was like, you know, six months worth of that. We were like, we're rich. Um, but in any case, I, I failed to take money out of that and sew it into her. Sure um, and at that time, I was like, no, I need to eat. <laughs> like, I'm not going to give away my money. But the Lord told me very specifically to take $20 and give it to him. And um, this was our first client. But interestingly enough, um, that deposit money that we got was actually the deposit to help us get our first office. Like, yes. we hadn't even got an office yet. She but, didn't know that, right. thank God. Um, they had we, hired me. But we had, we had hired office. a sales rep. <laughs> <laughs> on commission and we had uh, we had got our first client and she was going to show up in a few weeks and we had no office no furniture nothing I mean nothing and um, God supernaturally got we didn't even yes, we did. didn't even pay to get into the office somehow even though they told us we were supposed to pay and all that and um, I was excited to have the deposit initially because I was going to go give it to the office and that will, you know, whatever we need it. And, of course, this particular day the hotel called and they said, well, you know, you either make a payment or you're out. So the money that we had just gotten had to go to the hotel. And I remember thinking, oh, I'm so sick of this. Um, I can't do this anymore, Lord. I was so pissed. Um, but that was just the, the beginning of God teaching me how to walk in faith. Yes. It was just, it was literally the beginning. And, um, 
and I'm so excited. So anyway, for all of those of you that are watching all across the world, thank you for my viewers and listeners that are in uh, in Wash in the state of Washington. Thank you for those of you that are in Texas and Florida, um, Arizona. Atlanta, Arizona. Welcome everybody. Um, I hope that you will all give and that you will give uh, in, in surplus and abundance. And I know we have several people watching in in South Africa, in uh, Kenya, Nigeria, Australia. Yes. Um, you know. Um, Many people don't really realize, but we reach about 190 countries through this network, and we have for some time. Um, and we don't have to, they don't have to be in the studio. Make sure you let people know that, that they can do it virtually as well. Um, so, I just lost my earpiece. Linda, can you keep oh, going? Oh, okay. <laughs> Go ahead, keep talking to them. <laughs> no, I get but I just wanted people to know, if you do want to be a part of this network, we would love to have you. Uh, please get in touch with me. I am just recently moved from being the sales director to the COO, but I still will help you. Uh, if you will give me a call, 248-653-5401. You do not have to be here in the studio live. We can now, uh, because we've upgraded our cameras, we upgraded our equipment, and we can do virtual. Oh, we can do remote shows. Okay. Yes, remote. I couldn't hear a single thing she was oh, saying. Okay. This is how you guys feel when I say, what happened yes. to your piece? And so we can do it um, you know, remote, as he said, and so if you're in Florida, California, New York, Boston, wherever you are, uh, please uh, be a part of this network. We are growing, and we believe God that we are going to be the number one media network uh, for giving God the glory, first of all. Yes, because that's hallelujah. What we do. Come on now. This network is to the glory of God. And so everything we do, we give God the glory. Uh, we are not here uh, because of the fact that we're, you know, trying to build our own, uh, you know, our personalities and things of that nature. That is not it. We do this because we love God. And we know that the marketplace and going into all the world is what God has called us to do. So we just want you to know that. And if you think you want to show, you want to be a part of this, if you have a broadcast, if you, uh, whatever it is, and it's not always preaching. If it's something that you're doing and is a business related, we just want somebody that loves the Lord and put him first in everything you do. So please call me again, Linda Hunt here at 248-653-5401. You know, for the longest time she knew that number and I didn't know it at all. <laughs> Um, just like she always has business cards, and I never have any, even though I have a whole box full of and them. And I have yours, too. <laughs> <laughs> so awful. God help us. Um, so, uh, you know, we, it's, there you go. See, I was trying to help my wife because, you know, when yeah. you use production equipment and you're not used to using it every day. First of all, my wife is doing the bomb diggity. Yes, I just is. want you all to know. Yes. Uh, but sometimes when, you use sometimes when you use production equipment and you don't use it every day, particularly what we use, uh, it can be uh, very scary. So, um, anyway, I want to go to the next video because we really have to get this going. We've I've spoken a little too long. Um, but before I go there, I want to share something with you. This is a testimony. Actually, we'll share that when we come back. Um, so, let's go to the next clip. And uh, I want you guys to see. This is a little history of where we came from. And um, let's see. Uh, I want you guys to see where we came from. Go ahead. Over the years, God has reminded us of the promises he's made over the Worship Online Network. We have gone through so many transitions, and every single one, we have moved into bigger and better. Our very first location was the Ford Building, where we were known as Worship Center Radio. Then God transitioned us into a building on Woodbridge, where we were known as Worship Radio Detroit. But then God spoke again and said, it's time for TV. So we moved into Southfield, and now we are in a bigger space where God has spoken again, and we are called to bigger and greater. Hello, everyone. I am Linda Hunt, and I am the host of the Marketplace Connection. You have seen me for the past six years here on the wonderful One TV Network. When I first came here, we were the Worship Radio International, Worship Radio Center rather, and it was a small broadcast there downtown in the Ford Building, and we have grown, we have seen so many people that have come through. We just had a heart for God. Didn't know all of the, you know, ins and outs about broadcasting. Didn't know everything that I was doing as far as a host. I came to this wonderful network 
when Dr. Rodeberg and I spoke, she called me on the phone and she said, hey, I heard about you as a salesperson. Your name was given to me. I want to meet with you and I want to talk with you about a sales position. And we talked on the phone. At the end of that conversation, we had a chance to pray and I prayed with her and for her. And she said to me when that conversation was over, she said, you are the one that I have been waiting on. You are the one that I've been looking for. You are it. I was just, you know, really thrilled about that. Honored to even think that uh, she would choose me and had not met me for the first time. And then sadly, about a year and a half later, after I had been a part of this network as a sales director of the network, Dr. Bird went home to be, uh, be with the Lord. Well, Prophet Blaine and I, we continued on. Prophet Blaine, being a young man of God, a young prophet of God, um, was like devastated, of course, because that was his, his spiritual mom. He asked me, he said, what are we going to do? I said, we're going to carry the legacy. We cannot allow the legacy to die. We're going to do exactly what you started out with Dr. Bird to do. And that's what we've done. We left from the Ford building. We found another building down off of Jefferson on Woodbridge. We were there. We've been to St. Clair Shores. We've been in various places. And now we're here where we are right now in Southfield, Michigan. This is a network for people that are looking for something that is a little different from the uh, regular networks that you see on television. Uh, we are a network, first of all, for the glory of God. That is what we are called to do. We are here to give God glory in everything that we do, everything that we say. We pray here, we have times of prophetic word, whatever it is, when God just invades the atmosphere, we allow him to have his way. It doesn't matter who it is, when it is, whatever we're doing, and every one of our guests, every one of our hosts, they appreciate coming into an atmosphere that is filled with the glory of God. So I just really want to, for this telethon that we are doing, I want to invite you to take part in this, to share with us. So into this ministry, this is good ground. You can be assured that when you are sowing into this ministry, you are sowing into good ground. I thank God for every host that is on this network. And one thing about this network, I can tell you, for those of you that are looking for something different, we are a kingdom-minded network. We're not just about church. We allow people with their gifts and their calling because that's what the Marketplace Connection is all about. It's about giving you an opportunity to be able to use your gifts wherever you are. Give to this uh, uh, telethon that we're having, raising money so we can do even more. We know that we are expanding and that we are growing, but we need your help. So will you help us today and be a part of this wonderful telethon to the glory of God? Now this is what I want you to do for me. I would like you to give a substantial amount is what we need to be able to expand our platform. We need cameras, we need lights, we need all kind of equipment so we can do what we do even on a bigger scale to the glory of God. Get out your checkbook, get out your credit card, and please give a substantial offering to us uh, that you would sow into this ground and I tell you you will be blessed you will not regret it you share in not only giving but you share also in the anointing so anything that you sow into God said you will reap what you sow so if you sow into this ground you will also reap the anointing bless you in the name of Jesus Christ You know, when I started this network with my best friend, I had no idea what I was really getting into. I just knew that God had given us a vision and that we needed to execute it somehow. And I was very desperate for the finances to be able to pull it off. But God used this whole journey to prove to me that when He ordains something, it will surely come to pass. So this whole five, six year journey has been so rewarding. It has been difficult. It has been terrifying. It has been filled with heartache and frustration sometimes. But I kept holding on to that goal. 
I kept holding on to the vision that God has given me. And thank God for the team, and particularly Linda Hunt that has stood by my side, my wife that has stood by my side, and all of the hosts that have been on this network. You all know the importance of why we are doing this. I'm so excited to see what God does in this next chapter of this journey. It is time for us to launch that streaming platform because Christians worldwide are getting censored on social media, on television. And it is time for us not only to keep broadcasting for the glory of God, but it is time for us to go to the next level and produce television programming that rivals that of the secular networks. Every single one of you that is a part and that is giving today and for the rest of the week. You have no idea how impactful your seed is. For every $50, $100, $1,000, $10,000 $10, that you give, you are helping us take this network and this ministry to the next level. For surely even from the very beginning, we dedicated this ministry and this network unto God, and we continue doing it. It seems like every so often we will bring the network back to God and say, God, we rededicate this network onto you because we love you and because we honor you. I want to ask that you cheerfully and wonderfully give your seed. No amount is too little. No amount is too much. But I must say that we need a substantial amount of money for us to take this next leap into this journey, into this next chapter of what this network is called to do. So no matter where you are, no matter what you're doing, no matter what country you're in, I implore you, stand with us, partner with us with your one-time donation, your one-time seed, or maybe even your monthly partnership. Go to our website at theone.tv, that's www.thewon.tv. Or you can look at the bottom of your screen to see the different ways that you can give. From the bottom of my heart, as a prophet of God, I want to thank you for being a part of this journey with me and the rest of those that are on this network. Thank you for partnering with myself and my team so that we can take this network to that next level for the glory of God. God bless you and I'm so excited that you are a part of this journey with me. Well, welcome back again, and we hope that those that have given, we thank you already for you that have given already, and for those that will give uh, that are coming on, those, because we'll be on for a while, so you will have plenty of time to get out your checkbooks, your credit cards, uh, pay on PayPal, whatever you want to do, and we do hope that you will uh, take this opportunity to partner with us. And I do have a word, as I told uh, Prophet Blaine, as I saw the screen, and the word that the Lord had given me was about launch and what launch was. And so in the scriptures, um, and I'm going to just read a, you know, a couple scriptures uh, here uh, just to give you just what I'm getting ready to say to him, really. Oh, God, uh, but, get the tissues. <laughs> but um, in St. Luke 5, uh, the Bible says that it came to pass as the people pressed uh, upon him to hear the word of God. He stood by the lake of Gen Gennesaret and saw two ships standing by the lake, but the fishermen were gone out of them, and they were washing their nets. And he entered into one of the ships, which was Simon's, and he prayed uh, him that he would thrust out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of the ship. And when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, launch into the deep, and let your nets down for a draught or for a catch. And Simon answering said unto him, Master, we have toiled all night, and we have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. And when they had done this, they enclosed a great multitude of fish. 
and their net break. Now this is the part right here. And they beckon unto their partners, which were on, in other ships, that they would come and help them. And they came and filled both ships so that they began to sink. So launching means thrusting out, out into the deep. God is saying, we are going deeper. Yes, deeper waters, you know, higher heights, deeper depths, launching out into the deep and letting down our nets for a bigger catch. Now they were, as Jesus used the scripture, you know, he t talks about fishing for men. And that's what we do because this network is, is to the glory of God. Yes. And everything that we do, we do want people that will be saved. That is, that is our number one reason for what we do is that the word of God would reach people and that people would be saved. And the word launch also means to put out, to see, to thrust out. But then to the Bible, um, in the con uh, concordance, it says, but to return. So everything that we do, we return the thanks and the glory and the honor to God. We cannot ever forget where we have come from and what God has done for us in our launching out into the deep. And it also means to sail away. Now you'll like this one, depart. Because we believe that we've outgrown this space. Yes. <laughs> and so I believe that in this time and in this season that we are getting ready to depart to another place, a bigger building, a bigger surroundings, because on, we're girl. growing, because we're launching, and we're going deeper. We're going deeper. Come we're on. going out into the deep, and we're going to catch more fish because I'm more people are waiting to hear our voice. More people are waiting to see what we, and not only to hear the voice, but people want to know that there is something real going on here because even though the Spirit of God is intangible, but yet it is tangible. It's, it's like you can't see it, but you can feel it. And so people will know when they see this broadcast and what God is doing and how we're giving him the glory as we're it's launching so out. And so we're asking our partners as in the scriptures, in the NLT, it says, go out where it's deeper and to let down your net to catch some fish. So we're asking you as the disciples, they needed somebody to help them because we're getting ready to have a net breaking Boat sinking miracle. Come on, Jesus. <laughs> I believe that as we as we go out into the deep, as we give God the glory, as we lift Hallelujah. up our hands to Him, and as we come back and give Him the thanks. Come on. I believe that we're going to have a net breaking. Come on. Boat sinking. Come on. Miracle. Come on, Jesus. Yes. So we're launching. We're launching out. And this is the first day of our launch. It's so crazy that she'd say this. I was, I, so if, I don't usually come to the studio on Sundays. It's very rare. Um, but I had to come get some things ready, some, some of the video clips ready. And while I was sitting working, it was like towards the end, before we got started, a couple hours before we got started, um, the Lord said to me, your birthing today. I was like, well, that's interesting. I'm just trying to do a, a program here and do it good. He said, you're birthing today. So yes. for you to bring the word of launching, that's that's incredible. Yes. Listen, y'all, I'm excited. I'm excited. Hallelujah. I'm excited. Hallelujah. God. Yes, God. I believe you. I believe you, God. 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 Yes, sir. We are taking that next land, and it just feels so surreal to sit yes. here and do this today. But we are taking our new land. We're taking, launching that, that streaming platform. That's why we are raising the funds. So you've heard a lot of the mm -hmm. cool stuff. This is why we are raising funds. This is why the, I believe the Lord told us to do this. We need to launch our streaming platform because Christians, believers, are being censored on their television programs, yes. on their Facebook pages, on their Twitter pages. 
I don't care how you look at them. Churches, churches too. Um, are getting, you know, they may give you dumb reasons for why they're mm -hmm. blocking your video and all that. It's all a bunch of doo-doo, okay? <laughs> okay. I mean, honestly, I've, I've said now for the last little while, and Linda's going to hit me in the head for this. It's okay. But I've told my team for the last little while, Facebook can go smell my butt. Because, and I, yes, I said it. Because it is t it's time for us coffee. to... <laughs> It's time for us to launch oh, our. Him. It's time for us to launch our new platform. It's time for us to be on Roku and Amazon Fire Stick and all those places, so that you can come to a safe place to watch programming and all that. And listen, it's not going to be programming like the Word and all that. It's not going to be all preaching stuff. If you have not watched our network, make sure you go to the website at www. Dot the one that's T H E W O N dot TV and watch some of our programs. We have the Marketplace Connection, we have Sister Circle, we have In the Know, we have Let's Fix It with Shenandoah. We builders. talk wealth builders, we talk about mm. real estate, we talk about um, uh, credit scores and, mm -hmm. and financial related stuff. Mm -hmm. We talk about um, encouragement, encouragement business. I'm sorry, what'd you say? And we're getting. Okay, now I know that's a prophet, but you don't know that that was prophesied before. We're getting ready to um, go into movie production and all that that's kind right. of stuff. Yes, come on, I day prophesy, woman of God. I feel that in my spirit. Yes, yes, and I believe the, the apostle, the prophet in the other room just released something in the spirit when she said, we're getting ready to produce movies. Mm -hmm. We're Christian getting ready movies. to produce movies. Yes. And listen, I know we watch movies like like fireproof and I know we watch movies like War Room and all those cool things but do you know that the streaming rights to those movies is owned by Sony mm. do you know that Sony is not a Christian company and they're not just a secular company they're blatantly demonic Mm. And they own the streaming rights to Christian movies that we've created, that we as believers have created because we felt like we couldn't go any other way or felt like that we needed them in order to get it out. The devil is a lie. God is shifting the media mountain. And that is why we've been in this for the last five years. Yes, you may only now be getting to see us. But listen, we have produced. Now, listen to this stat. Mm -hmm. We have produced over five thousand shows in the last six years you know how insane that is mm. five thousand shows here at the network you haven't necessarily seen them all heard them all but i promise you we have all of it in an archive mm. um and it is absolutely astonishing to to see what we've done so i want to encourage you please for those of you that are watching right now i know there's several of you many of you all across the world please begin to give yes. go to cash app and put in that that uh, that tag dollar sign WMG global or go to PayPal and send it to hello at my WMG.com or if you have Venmo you can do dollar sign WMG global or you can give us a call I believe the partners might be here if they're mm -hmm. not uh, and they're, no gift is too small and no gift is too small every five dollars ten dollars a hundred dollars yes um, no gift every gift is in, let me I need to tell you all the testimony because this happened one be once, uh, well, at least once before that I know of, although we have many other testimonies, but this is the one that's coming to mind. Um, so if you want to go to the website and give, go to www.theone.tv. Uh, I'm starting to sound like Rhoda Bird. <laughs> www.theone.tv, and you'll see there's a big old green button at the top that says Give to the Telethon. Um, there was uh, some ministry partners of mine. And uh, I told them, I said, just give, and this is close to the last time we did this. I said, just give $5. They didn't have much. I said, just give $5. And she said, okay. And she went and gave the $5. And, you know, obviously, you know, $5 when you're doing stuff like this doesn't make a huge difference. But when everybody come together, it makes a difference. Um, and about three days later, four days later, she called me back. She said, i got to tell you something. I said, okay. And she said, I was out delivering food because she was doing like a DoorDash type of thing. And... Um, she said, I went in, I was waiting for the food, and I was sitting in the restaurant, and I saw these people there, and I started to talk to them, whatever. And uh, it was time for me to leave, and so I went to the bathroom. And when I came out, um, one of the people said to me, you know, can I just hug you? And she said, yeah, no problem. And um, as she was, you know, hugging the person, they, they gave her something in her hand and said, the Lord told me to give you this. Mm. And she said, okay. She got in the car, and the person gave her $500. And the Lord told her immediately, this is because of the $5 seed you sowed into, wow. the, into the network. Now listen, y'all, I don't, uh, 
I don't often do this, but I know the oil I carry. I know the oil that Linda carries. I know the oil this network carries yes. because of what we have given, what we've and sacrificed, and what I dang. Listen, that girl on the back is a prayer warrior, okay? When the enemy tried to kill me Amen. a few years ago, that woman, no matter what I say, no matter even when I gave up and said, it's a wrap, I'm dying, it's over. Mm -hmm. um, my wife said, you're not dying. And she kept praying for me. She silently prayed for me. And I, oh my God, because of what I was going through, I treated her some kind of, every kind of way. And I was laying on the couch one day and the Holy Spirit said to me, she prayed for you. She's praying for you. And I thought I was going to die, but I didn't because God had a purpose for this network. And he still has a purpose and we're moving forward. So if you haven't yet, go ahead and begin to give now. Yes. Don't do nothing. If you're watching this, please don't do nothing because you're actually, you're investing mm -hmm. into the kingdom of God. This is not about me. It's not about Linda. It's not about Ida. Um, you are investing into the kingdom of God. And please do me a favor. Like, tag, share. As Shanada That's always right. says on you, sharing Quit is caring. Like, and share. my daughter has, has started saying, sharing is caring, daddy. Sharing is caring. <laughs> so, you know, it rubs off on my children too. So wherever you are, Oh. Well, oh. for the per I, my wife just said that someone said that all, all they had to give today was five dollars. Okay? okay, so this is what I'm going to do for you, woman of God. Oh, I'm gonna see if I can stand up. Can I stand up? Hold on, my wife gonna move the no, camera. No, don't stand up. No, oh, no, never mind. Don't stand up because I'm wired. Never mind. Right. I ain't standing up. Just put it on my camera. To, was it a woman of God? To the person that gave today and is giving today. God bless you, Father. I thank you for taking that seed and multiplying it exponentially. Thank you for yes. multiplying it supernaturally. Yes. God, that same testimony of the woman of God in, in Texas, I believe it was, they gave the $5 and you returned to her a $500 seed, Lord. Father, for the person that gave today, Father, I give her a supernatural increase, God. Give her a supernatural abundance, God. And Lord, I thank you for making back what she gave a thousandfold. I keep seeing this in my head. Wo person, woman of God, I don't know. I don't even know who you you are my wife does I don't know who you are but I declare and decree before you that God will give you that house free and clear in the name of Jesus for you step down in faith just like the woman that gave her, her last and gave the the widow's might she gave everything she had I thank you for giving mm. everything that you had available for you today mm. and I thank you the kingdom of God thanks you for you are helping uh, send uh, the, the gospel of Jesus Christ throughout the earth starting today. I thank you and God bless you. Mm. My wife said to pray for this. I don't know if you asked for it, but I pray for your bank statement. I pray for your paperwork to go mm -hmm. through right now in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. I declare and decree that you shall receive the prophet's reward mm -hmm. right now. And even as we are yes, three God. prophets in this house in the Lord name of Jesus, Shepherd. you shall receive a triple yes. portion of the prophet's reward. And actually, I'm going to bring in all the other prophets, yes. all the prophets and apostles that yes. are in this network. Yes, because God. you sowed your seed, Robos. you shall receive their reward as well. Because because you're helping not only keep them on the air, but expand their air in the name of Jesus. I thank you and God bless you for everything that you've done and that you are doing. So for all of those of you that are watching, that haven't given, that want to give, you can That's also right. give by check if you'd like to. Mm -hmm. You can make those out to Worship Media Group. That's Worship Media Group. And you can send it to 249, I'm going to say it slowly, 901. Yes. Northwestern Highway, Highway, Southfield, Michigan, 48075. I'm sorry, now. Suite 220. Suite 220. Um, you can send in your check. You can make a commitment. Or if you have a credit card and you want to give, you can go to the website, theone.tv. Or you can call 248-653-5401. And one of our partners will be glad to take your, uh, your gift, your payment over the phone. Um, you can do a one-time gift or you can partner with us. Um, we don't say no to any of it. I, I appreciate you. Um, so this is exciting. I'm enjoying this. I, I Go want, ahead. I want to uh, encourage uh, all of the Marketplace Connection partners, uh, Marketplace Connection interviewees, that I have interviewed over this past six years when I first came to this network. I want to challenge you. If I have exposed your gift, 
if I have exposed your business, if I have exposed your talent, I'm just asking you to do likewise, to give and give a substantial seed. It didn't cost you nothing to come here. It didn't cost you anything to be on my broadcast because I don't charge people to be on my broadcast. My job is to do what God has called me to I do. Learned something. And to go <laughs> to the marketplace and to bring the marketplace to my viewers. And so anyway, I, I would like for you to give a seed today. Give something uh, for being able to expose your gift. And I know you thank me and I do believe that you do appreciate it. But today I'm asking you, uh, as those that I have interviewed, and that's been almost, as the prophet has said, I don't know, he keeps track of my shows. Um, he produces them, and he said close to uh, almost 1,100 people, almost close to 1,200 1, yeah, yep. shows that I've done over these six years. And so I just ask that if you would, please, uh, for my family and, and relatives and friends that are on, uh, that, you know, that are watching, please, you know, give something today my and God. be a blessing uh, to this network and to the ministry that God has called me to because he has called me to be a marketplace minister and to take the gospel of Jesus Christ to the marketplace and to every mountain God, that God sick, has so cool. and to and to bring, and this is also a, a week of giving. So if you don't do it today, if you get paid Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, whatever day you get paid. Telethon is going yeah, on the, all that's week. That's right. And you can join us all week. There'll be different people here that will be on the network. Uh, you might see me again probably later on. You'll see her again. But, uh, <laughs> but so she won't let me rest, you know. Nope. I, Listen, told him, I said, I'm supposed to be retiring, right? Whatever, you ain't going to retire. You know, it is so funny. When for, for, well, for a little while after Linda was here, she had this idea she was going to retire and she was getting old and whatever. And I just begin to prophesy she's not getting old, she's getting younger. And it's so funny, after I prophesied that, people would start to come in here and say, you're looking younger. I was like, okay, go ahead. And, you know, somebody, well, I mean, well, I'm sorry, this person That's right. hate me. So, <laughs> some, some, I am. So, you know, I, I, I prophesied you're not getting older. You ain't going to have no no shower chairs and all crazy stuff. You're getting younger. You ain't going to need all that. Um, and, um, yeah, right, I, I'm just saying. So, I, I love, I really love my team. Once you, if you know, you've got to kind of prove yourself, not to me, but to the but to the Lord. And I promise you, all of us here have had to prove ourselves. He, yeah. he has tested all of our hearts That's to right. see if we're going to do this. And those that, that really weren't in it, and it's, you know, it's interesting how God works. You'll feel like, God, I've shown myself all that. And then you make that one choice of saying, I'm, I've had a rap, and God be like, okay. We, go ahead. So we've we've been tested. We've been tested through money. Linda's been tested when I couldn't yeah, pay I her. I want to quit. And yeah. She wanted to quit. She wanted to throw me out the window. I want to throw her out the window. My wife's been tested. You know, it's just been a process. But yeah, I'm but, so excited. And but you know what? We know at the end of the process, we know that there are greater things coming. We just had to be faithful to you know, to the vision. Yes, we did. And we have been, and we're going to continue to be. Yeah. So um, we are enjoying being here with you. Um, we'll be right back. Hello, my name is Pastor Karen Bruce, and I am one of the hosts here on The One TV, a great place to be. I just want to talk to you a little bit about The One TV and my experience here. I came just a few short months ago and I'm so glad I did. Uh, I was led here by the Spirit of the Lord. It was a divine setup, a divine connection. And um, I'm just grateful to God to be a part of such a great work. And one of the things that I noticed right off when I got here is the love of God that filled the place, the presence of God that filled this place. And let me tell you something, uh, this uh, ministry, this group of wonderful people is made up of people that, that are unique and have unique ministries, powerful ministries, but there's no big eyes and no little use. We're all here for one common goal, and which is the vision of this work, which is to uh, uh, get out the good news of Jesus Christ, to tell somebody about Jesus, to encourage somebody to preach the gospel to the masses. That is the goal of this work. And I'm so glad that God chose me to be a part of this for such a time as this. Now listen, 
you guys listen god is calling us to expand he's calling us to reach the masses throughout the world but we need your help to help us do that we are launching a streaming a platform and a massive marketing campaign so that we can fulfill the vision which is to reach the masses with the gospel of jesus christ and we need your help so i'm coming before you today all of my friends all of my family that are watching those that i may not even know i'm coming before you today to ask that you will sow into this great work. Ask that you will plant a seed to help us do the things that God have called us to do. And I promise you, you will be blessed because this is good ground. Amen. It's all about Christ here. It's all about Jesus. So as you sow, as you give into uh, what God is predestined to be a blessing in the earth for such a time as this, this you too will be blessed so look down at the bottom of your screen you'll find our, our, our giving information the ways that you can give and sow into this great work it's all right there before you so i'm going to ask you don't hesitate don't wait come on give and sow now into this work that god has called for such a time as this i want to thank you in advance for what you are going to do but listen i don't want you to just do it call your friends call your family call other ministers come on it's good to sow into somebody else's ministry sometime it's not all about us uh, uh getting the blessings but sometimes we need to be the blessing so call somebody encourage somebody you know hey i want you to a, a partner with me to sow into this great work and so that people can be blessed so that we can continue to get the good news out so that we can continue to be an encouragement to those that need encouragement so thank you for taking this time taking this moment to listen to me but don't just listen come on be a part of the great thing that god is doing through the one tv God bless you and have yourself a wonderful day. Okay. I guess I shouldn't be using the sound by myself. God bless you. Welcome back to the telethon that we're doing for the One TV. I'm so excited. Listen, I want you to come back real quick to introduce this this next video. I love these two hosts. One of them is Dr. Apostle Hattie Patterson that used to be on our network. Some of you know her as Apostle Hattie Hill. Um, she was one of our very originals that was with us back in the Ford building. And then we also have um, Apostle Dr. Velma Rosemont that was on that very show. I want you to listen to this because I was listening to it as, as I was putting it in here. And it's such an amazing message. We'll be right back. This is the hour of favor, excessive favor. And the Lord told me, he spoke it. It's nothing I made up. I wasn't trying to get a word. I wasn't trying to seek nothing, anything here in Detroit. But God literally spoke to me as in an audible voice. And I'm going to break this down. And I'm prepping you so that your faith can rise. You can receive what God said. And if your faith doesn't rise to receive it, it's almost like someone throwing a very a, a precious, a prize ball and it comes right and hits you in the face but you don't grip grasp it you don't take it and you don't put it in your mouth by faith you don't get it in your heart God spoke this to me apostle had it literally and I began to do a study and pray on it before I even came on the broadcast he said, tell the people of Detroit, beginning in Detroit, because this word is going around the world. It's global, regardless yes. of what anyone said. When you look at the word of God in Luke chapter 4, verse eight, uh, 18 and 19, Jesus stood up and said, um, told them that in this hour, in this moment, in this set time, the spirit of the Lord God, in essence, is upon me. It has come to you because it's up on me and I'm in your presence. My God, isn't that lovely? Isn't that awesome? Yes. To set at liberty the captives and to loose the bonds of the wicked, to heal, to, to, to let go from prison. So 
God said to me these words. You can mark it down. And if you come underneath the glory by faith, things will begin to happen in your life that never happened before for your favor and for your good. So I want you to really take a note of this. And this is very important because I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying he's loosing the gift of faith for the working of miracles. So miracles are going to be happening because of the favor of God is going to be set upon you. The Lord spoke this word. He said, tell Detroiters and those around the globe, the world, this is your set time of favor. This is your set time of favor. Amen. And that there is going to be a leader shift. And as I begin to meditate upon that, the leaders are going to have to come into their place of the apostolic spirit of the Father so that they can release the blessings upon their people and begin to tell them this is your set time of favor. You may say, okay, prophet, apostle, whatever you want to call me. You call me Velma. I don't care. You call me sister. I'm not concerned Amen. about what you call me. I'm just going to simply concerned about how you receive what God says because it's time for you to come out on underneath oppression come out from underneath the strongholds of imprisonment in your mind and not limiting God. God told me, he said, Velma, think unlimited. Think not concern yourself with the small quarters and the small places. Amen. If this door closed, he's open up 20, 30, 40, 50, Amen. 100. Hundred more. If this space seems to be confinement, break out of it. Jump over the fence. Do whatever you have to do in this hour because the glory of God is on you. The Spirit of God is already gone before you. Angels are already working in your favor. Yes, God. God spoke that to me. He said, Tell them it's not familiar. He said, They're used to hearing it. I'm highly favored of the Lord. And God's favor. Welcome back. I love those two. Um, I loved uh, Dr. Apostle Hattie Patterson. That, that woman is the bomb diggity. That's um, gone home to be with Jesus. Yeah, she's Lord. gone home to be with Jesus. And I'm sure she's loving it along with Rhoda um, and along with one other person you're going to get to see in a few minutes. Um, but a testimony about her. One time when she was in the studio, um, one of our hosts at that time came in and he was like walking kind of difficulty on, on his cane. But in any case, she, she prayed for him and... Um, she prayed for his arms. I guess the one arm was shorter than the other. And she prayed for him, and I literally watched his arm grow. And it was the same, it was the same size. And yes, Apostle Hattie, yep, that, hey, that woman was no joke. Oh, she was no joke. Um, <laughs> honestly, it, it, it blew my freaking mind because I'd never actually seen something like that happen in front of my face. But I promise you, I watched it happen. It was like... This, this, be, you know, okay, so it was like a whole finger like length, this. and I watch it go, zoop. I mean, like, no, you know, we expect, like, sparks to fly and everything, but God is so simplistic. It was just like, zoop. I was like, did his arm just grow? I was like, Rhoda, did you see his arm just grow? She's like, yeah. I was like, that was, that was not chroma key, okay? And it's not fake, like this here wall. Um, it was amazing, absolutely amazing. Um, Oh, you got both of us on oh, camera. Okay. Oh, we look cute on camera, don't we? <laughs> um, so listen, I'm, I hope you guys are enjoying the program. I hope you're enjoying giving. Um, again, that, that's up on the screen. I have a couple things I want to share with you real quick because um, we've had a, a couple of people bless us. So first of all, um, thank you to um, our sponsor in Texas, Bishop Eberica. You've been such a blessing. <sighs> I'm going to try not to cry. You've been such a blessing from the get-go of this network. I love you so much. And it's really because of him to, an, to a large extent that we're here that we even had a camera before. Even though we had kind of grainy quality and all that, the camera was the bomb to get in. It's still in my office, and I'm probably going to keep it forever. But thank you so much um, for being such a blessing. Um, so Bishop Eberica has decided that um, he wanted to be a blessing to us, and I have to go find the, the book that he sent us because it's in here. Um, so for your gift of $50 or more, um, you will get a copy of uh, uh, The Vision of America, The Next 100 Years. Um, and I've read a couple of, of snippets of this and some of the other books that Bishop Eberica has written about the vision for the next 100 years. He's a bad to the bound prophet. So you, for your gift of $50 or more, you will get a free copy of uh, Vision of America, The Next 100 Years. Um, mm. And um, there's, well, I guess there's a slight limit, not really. Um, 
we don't have, I think we have like 30 of those copies available. So if you're, you, with your gift of $50 or more, um, we'll get to that one in a minute. $50 or more, you will get a copy of Vision of America, the next 100 years. And I'm so excited for you to get a copy of that. Unfortunately, we don't have a picture of it on the screen at the moment. Um, but Vision of America, the next 100 years, written by Richard Eberica, all the way from Texas. He's been a, a wonderful partner of us uh, from the very beginning. So, I do have a picture, but it's, it's not out yet. It's literally, he's he's launching it here on the network with us, so you're not going to find it anyway. Yeah, um, I do have it on my phone. You're not going to see it, but Vision of, of America, the next 100 years. Uh, um, oh, I'm sorry, let's try to. Vision of America, the next 100 years. You probably can't see it, but it's there anyway. Um, beautiful book. I'm excited. Um, you, <coughs> that's so funny. He's going to text me while we're talking about this. Um, you are a son, and whatever I can do to make you succeed, I consider it a joy. I'm, you're going to make me cry, and I'm live on air. You're going to make me cry, okay? Um, so Vision of America, the next 100 years, your gift of $50 or more. I know it sounds gimmicky, but at least you get a book out of it, deal, out of it okay? So just go ahead and sell your $50. Um, and I'm excited. You get blessed. Um, so uh, let's get... I stole your piece of paper, and then lost it. Um, let's go to the next part, and we're going to, oh, this is going to make me cry. Okay, so listen, I want you guys to enjoy this clip. So the last day that we ever produced with our beautiful Rhoda, um, this was the last show that was ever done while she was living, and um, I just want you to watch this, okay? So go ahead and enjoy this. On August 13th, 2016, unexpectedly, uh, we had a great loss at the network, and that was the passing of our darling, Dr. Rhoda Bird, my spiritual mother and co-founder of what was then Worship Center Radio. It was a very traumatic time. It was a very traumatic experience. And I honestly didn't think I could continue doing it without her. And for a few days and a couple of weeks after she died, I just kind of walked around in a daze, wondering, what are we going to do? And the Lord began to speak to me about what was next. And the Lord very specifically said to me, the vision has not changed. Keep doing what I called you to do. So I want you to watch this clip from the very day she died, only a couple of hours before she passed away. And be glad, oh magnify the yes! me, <laughs> and let us exalt his name together. And it goes on to say, because I sought the Lord and he heard me and he answered me. And, he, yeah. and later on, what does it say? Taste and see that the Lord is good. Hallelujah. <laughs> praise God, praise God. You know, you know. Um, we were talking earlier, and like I said, to know God is to love Him, and to love Him is to fall deep in love with Him. And everything that you do and say, you want it to be accepted by Him. Yes. That's what you do when you're in love with someone. You strive to please that person. You strive to put a smile and keep a smile on their face. Amen. Yes. It's such an honor to be here. I, lo I love you already. <laughs> I just met you. You know, because of your spirit, I can tell you, love the Lord love the Lord and I am so in love with the Lord that every day I wake up I say Lord let me be an instrument for you today whenever something come up against me I go into worship hallelujah because it takes my eyes off of the situation and it puts it on the person in charge of my life yes. who can change things around in the blink of an eye in the blink of an eye and all you gotta do is call on them and say, not my will, Lord, but your will be done. And that's what I've learned how to do. I praise them through it. I praise them through whatever. I've been told that I've had cancer. I've been told that I've had MS. And to look at me, you know, I, because it's God. <laughs> it's God. It is God. I don't claim that. Yes. Because God knows the doctor that knows the doctor that knows the doctor. Amen. Yes. And, and he controls all of that. When you give your life to God, you don't have to seek nobody else because God is in control. Can nothing happen to you that God don't allow to happen to you? And if he allows it to happen, it's going to work out for your good. I believe that. The word says it, and I believe it because the word says it. Word. 
word. Amen. And it has proven itself to be true it's in your life. It's proven itself. It, I don't have to say somebody said and I found it to be true. It's right here. I can read it for myself. God says it's true. Okay, we really are back. And we're back. Um, that's also the first time we have shared that video since then. Um, I, was, I was there that day, and um, I was the one to, the last one to produce her show. Um, and uh, yeah, it was, uh, yeah. <laughs> it, it was about at one o'clock, she finished her show at like two o'clock, and um, by six o'clock she was with Jesus. And uh, mm. it was a, uh, mm. yeah, it was, it, I'm not, I'm not even going to pretend to have the words for it. It was a horrific day. It was a horrific day. And, um, you know, maybe one day I'll write a book about it. But she, um, she actually died in my arms in, this, in that studio, in that very room where, where you saw that. Um, that's where it all went down. So anyway, um, now you get to see a little clip of me when I was a little bit younger. And, oh, God, I wish I was a little bit younger like this. But here you go. I'm going to say, this is what it says to me. When I read the scripture, it's saying to me, God, I am sure of what you said to me. I trust what you said to me. I'm hopeful for what you said to me. And no matter what seems to take place, I'm going to trust that you will do as you promised to do. It is that moment in time where no matter how absurd the situation, no matter how, how big or how large your faith needs to be, it is knowing that what God said He would do, He would do regardless. The apostle said to the Lord, increase our faith. He replied, if we have the faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mulberry tree. In the regular versions it says, if you tell this mountain move, it'll, it'll move. Can you imagine having even the slightest little bit of faith? And, and knowing that if you tell it to move, it'll move. Knowing that situation in your life, if you tell it to cease, it'll cease. Knowing that financial problem that you have, if you tell it to stop, it has to stop. Things like that. God works in such extraordinary ways. I've got to know God so in so many different facets in the last two to three years. It's it's crazy. The things that we expect to not be possible, God makes possible because He is in fact the ruler over all. I love to see at times how, how God moves and he, he messes me up sometimes. How when I think, they are, God, I have no idea how you're going to do this. I have no idea how you're going to move in this way. This seems so ridiculously impossible. And then God goes, poof, and does His thing. I love it when God just shows up and just lets everyone know, I am still God. And what I said I will do, I will surely continue to do. Senior? We were picking which camera we'll go back to. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many cameras that you can't pick one. So anyway, um, that was a little younger version of me. That's what Prophet Lane used to look like in 2015, 2016, and 2017. And 2014 and 2013 when I was a little bit younger, but we're not going to talk about it. Um, so anyway, I'm the grand old age of 26 Nine. now. Nine. <laughs> Don't. Don't believe the prophet, what if? and you won't prosper. <laughs> That's not the word. Anyway. Uh, no, don't believe that one. <laughs> well, I'm not 30 yet, thank you. In a few no one more asked days. <laughs> no one few asked more me. days hence. Turn, I, oh, look, I need to turn Linda's mic off. Um, anyway, I'm actually, my, I, I don't know why my wife had me do this because I was just going to have a go straight to the clip, but I'm really excited to share with you. So, um, little sweet, little sweet, I do love you, baby. Uh, my sweet wife, Apostle Ida, actually for a while did a Hispanic program and she'll be coming back again. Uh, and um, <laughs> here we go. Y cuando yo fui por este proceso con Dios, cuando empecé a perdonar, Sentía que mi cuerpo se sentía más leve, se sentía más este, relajado, no me sentía tan estresada, me sentía feliz, no me sentía con, um, como, como si tuviera una mochila atrás con rocas y así me sentía todos los días cuando no perdonaba a, mi, a la gente que no perdoné, bueno que ya perdoné ahora. Entonces después de que perdoné sentí que me quitaron esa mochila y ya no tenía nada puesto, entonces 
en el proceso en el proceso de que yo perdoné a esta gente Dios me libró del dolor que yo sentí después de que perdoné a esta gente Dios me dio el amor bueno, el amor me lo estaba dando ya él desde cuando, pero cuando yo perdoné a esta gente, el amor de Dios se sentía diferente. Yo, pod yo podía sentir la conexión con Dios después de que yo perdoné a, esta, a, a la gente. Este, yo, sentí, yo podía escuchar mejor cuando perdoné a la gente. Podía sentir el Espíritu, el Espíritu Santo mejor de lo que sentía antes. Entonces... No matter who you are, no matter where you come from, there is a force that unites us all. Join the movement and let your lips do the talking with Aide Cosmetics, available on IdeCosmetics.com. I love this. Listen, this is turning out to be so much more fun than I expected it to be. I really, and, and, and to do it with you is so much more fun, too. Yes, and my producer that's normally behind the scene, and he's telling me <laughs> what camera to open like as if I don't know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> After six years. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's out of habit. I'm still the producer. <laughs> Yes, we got a producer that's back there in the back. She is doing a fantastic job, by yes, the way. Yes, she is. I guess it does we help give to have... It to, we give it up to I-Day It Irving. does help to yes. have a run of show. You're doing a fantastic <laughs> job, baby. So listen, it's giving time. I yes. wish we had a little giving time uh, jingle, but I didn't. I, I didn't hand find. clap. So listen, first of all, um, this is why we're doing this. So we we want to launch a massive billboard campaign. Um, mm. we wanted to, uh, if, if I had my way, we'd have all 1,400 billboards that we have across the country. We would use them all, but. Um, well, maybe you can make that happen. Maybe we can do all 1,400 billboards, right. okay? For like, you know, th Tell three Tell us months. some of our products. Um, we are, okay, we can do that in a minute. Mm -hmm. um, what did you say? Oh, we wanted, what are we? Oh, right, okay, so my, this wasn't part of that, but okay, cool. So my wife is reminding me, I promised God that if, if he, there's a particular company, I'm not gonna mention the company, but if he gave me this particular company, I promised God, is one of the largest billboard companies in the country. Mm -hmm. I promise God, if you gave me that company, like if I could own it, I would for an entire day, off the first time, right, like right after we purchased it, for an entire day, I would put the same image on all the billboards to give him glory to bring glory and honor back to him. Don't know what that image is going to be. We'll figure that out mm -hmm. when, you know, when that happens. And I believe God's gonna make that happen for me. Um, so for let's talk about some of our products while we're here. Okay. So that people can know what we do. Uh, besides billboards, so if you do have a company, you want to put your billboard up, you want to be up, and you want people to see you, we do advertising, we do printing, uh, we do book publishing, uh, we do billboards, elect, uh, electronic billboards. Yes, we do. Yes, it's beautiful electronic. digital bo billboards. For yes. those, and you know, there's people, there's people watching all over the world. So if you happen to not be in the United States or Canada, I'm sorry, I can't help you with a digital billboard yet. I will soon. Um, but we do tons of other things. So we are a book publisher. We are a hybrid book publisher, meaning you can do as much or little as the process with us as you want. Um, we'll print your book. We'll put it in. 42,000 retailers worldwide. So that includes, yes, that includes Amazon because that's the first one everybody asked for, but that's not the only one. So Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Books A Million, um, Booktopia, if you're in the UK, um, uh, not Zootopia, Booktopia. Booktopia in the UK, there's several places in, in, the, in the EU that you will get your book. In, so in South Africa, it will be in... Um, this is terrible. I'm from South Africa. Don't remember that bookshop. Um, anyway, so in any major or halfway reputable bookstore, your book will be available there. And um, and yeah, I, I have a testimony that I have yet to have a single one of my authors um, not make all their money back after ooh, printing ooh, their ooh, book. Ooh, Every ooh, single ooh. one of our authors makes all their money back that they invested into the publishing process. And I'm not <coughs> talking. I'm, I'm not talking about like a year later or whatever, but really quickly. So, so I want to talk to the authors. 
Go ahead. So I... first of all, this is our anthology doctor, <laughs> doctor of anthology. She didn't want to receive it, but truly, I say you are. This is why oh. God, I believe, calls you a doctor because you are a professional in this arena. You're a professional because God says you're a professional. And really, truly, y'all, the way that she works with um, with authors when she does an anthology is honestly is is de la creme of de la creme. <laughs> Well, I do want to welcome some of you that have a story. Uh, that is one of the reasons why I do anthologies. I had no intention of doing an anthology. I wrote my first book, solo book, which was called A Man Sister. This is my solo book that Blaine, uh, Prophet Blaine uh, produced, and uh, he was the publisher for that book. And so one day I was thinking of going to the, you know, write another book, and the Lord said, no, I want you to invite other women on the journey. And so that's how I got into anthologies. And you know, most of you all know the anthology uh, Chicken Soup for the Soul, which has been around for years. But my anthologies are for women. Uh, that's the ministry that I'm called to. And for women to tell their story, you have a story to tell. And I invite men too. If, a men, if men want to join me, I, you know, Prophet Blaine had mentioned that, you need to do an anthology for men. So if that be the case, if God say the same, we will do it. But an anthology is a collection of stories for women. They, everybody has a chapter, we write under one theme. So I had 16 women that, that joined me on my first anthology all together, 15 other women beside myself, gathering the fragments that nothing will be lost. And that's what we did. There is a host of stories that you, I'm telling you that you will be blessed, everything that you can imagine, because I believe all of us that wrote under this particular theme and the fragments, because what is a fragment? Something that's broken, something that's detached, something that has been lost, or whatever the case may be, like Jesus told the disciples, gather the fragments that nothing will be lost. Why? Why did he tell them to do that? Because there was some more feedings coming. And so we use this book to tell our stories so we could feed other women. So it's a ministry. So I want to invite you and you know, I'm just asking for those of you that have a story. I don't care what it is, large, small, whatever you've done, I don't care. You don't have to be ashamed, you're over it now. Uh, hopefully, if you're not healed, writing your story is one, one way to get you healed. So I do want to invite you on the journey. I have another anthology. After this one came out in 2020, 2021, it is living and loving life without regrets, okay? So I don't want you to regret that you didn't do some, th some of the things that God has called you to do. And writing your story is one of them. So I just want to, you know, just invite you again to join me. You can reach me here at 248-653-5401. Again, I am Linda Hunt, or you can go to hello, Linda at no, help, no, lindahunt.net. <laughs> lindahunt.net. Y'all pray for me. <laughs> well, we are going to give some books away. So uh, this um, is a book that we uh, decided that we were going to give some copies away. So for those of you that are interested, uh, this is a way that if you give tonight, you can get this book that is full of chapters loaded from the beginning to the end of this stories. This book will have you going, oh my God, I'm not gonna put it down, <laughs> put it down. Yes, he would, he, he's the publisher, right? I would walk into the office and he would be in there almost on the verge of, you know, I'm like, okay, calm down, calm down. Because <laughs> he would be in here, calm down, calm down. I don't believe he did that. I, I, you know, listen, this, <laughs> one, this is one, listen, I, I, I'm not an avid reader, okay? Which is really funny that God would give us a publishing company. Right. But this book, I, I literally, would, and this is before it was printed, I was on my computer like, <laughs> he what? She did what? <laughs> I mean, it's really that kind of book. So I would be getting upset with some of the things that were going on. So there is nothing that has happened in your life that you can't write about, I'll tell you, because if you pick this book up, you will see yourself on the pages of one of these authors and their story. So we'll give this away tonight for a, what, what's the gift? Pick $50? one, it's your book, it's your okay. book. Fifty dollars if okay. Fifty dollars if you we'll get if the you, testimony yes. in a second. And yes, we'll give a testimony about someone that just I guess um, on the screen has given a testimony. But anyway, if you give a fifty dollar offering tonight, we will give you this book tonight. Tonight only. Tonight only. Okay. So you got it. You got to give a seed, and if you give a seed, trust me, you will partake in the healing 
of Come someone that needs to be healed tonight. You, I God. prophesy that to hey, you. Sakana, mama, that if you give that seed, I prophesy that you will be healed from domestic violence. Come on, I girl. I prophesy that you will be healed from homosexuality. I prophesy that you will be healed from broken dreams and broken marriages. I prophesy that to you by the word of the living God, that you will be self-hate, all of those things, self-love, all of those things that's in this book. If you will give tonight a $50 seed, we will give you this book and we'll even autograph it for you. Come if on, you man. let us know who you are, okay? So we have a testimony. So go ahead, uh, uh, I day. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me turn. They can't, they can't hear you. Hold on, hold on. No, you can share. Okay, our producer actually wants to tell us something. Okay. Go, uh, go ahead, producer. Okay, so I was actually asking the Lord um, to, to give me something so that I can donate because I really wanted to partic uh, participate in the giving, especially because my husband and I can give together, but it's different when you yourself want to give something up from yourself, right? So I gave literally every single penny every single cent that i had left in my account and i sent it as a donation and i just got my return because someone sold some lipsticks after they couldn't sell anything last week come on jesus <laughs> come on now that's what i'm that's talking right. about uh, i day cosmetics. cosmetics listen my uh, listen I, the bomb I, I, the bomb I, I love lipstick. my wife's so okay rewind there was a time in my life long 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 ago where i used to wear certain items such as lipsticks we're we'll, we'll talk about that today because it's not today's testimony <laughs> that's for another um, conversation yes, for another conversation <laughs> on another day um, for another day <laughs> but um my, i have to say that my wife's lipstick is honestly because i know lipstick and i know the quality of lipstick honestly if, i mean I have seen so many people come through and they'll buy one and wear it and then come back and buy like several more because they just love the quality of the product. It's honestly a fantastic product. It smells nice. It doesn't smell like chemically. It's not greasy. Um, it's not greasy. It, it's, it's matte, so mm -hmm. it doesn't come off since mm -hmm. we're in masks. stays on with your mask. With our masks. For those of us that wear masks. Um, so, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm vaccinated. Hallelujah. So, um, any case, uh, I say that to say that my wife's lipstick is the bomb diggity, Thank and, you, and you should go get it. So, www.haydeecosmetics.com. That's H A Y D E E cosmetics.com. And uh, a little birdie. For a $50 seed? Uh, $100? Are, are you sewing anything? Yeah, I can sew the whole collection. Uh, for Except how? Except stripes, because I don't have any more stripes. Okay, so tell them. Tell them what it's they can hear you. Tell them how much you saw. Well, oh, they can hear me? They can hear you. Oh. Okay, so my wife is giving her way her entire collection for a gift of? You're getting all of the lipsticks except stripes because stripes sold out completely. There you go. And how many? How many is that? How um, many different? That is six lipsticks. So you get okay. one lip gloss and five li uh, liquid matte lipsticks. Okay, cool. Um, for a gift of how much? Yeah, $50. Okay, so for okay. a gift of $50. Or more. You or more. more. Um, you can also get the entire <laughs> collection of my day cosmetics lipsticks, and they are the bomb diggity. I don't have any in front of me because they're all out there. But um, go to her website. You can see the colors, H-A-Y-D-E-E -E cosmetics.com. That's H-A-Y-D-E-E -E cosmetics.com. And um, so I'm going to make sure the producer stays in the back now. Turn her mic off because yes, I get to I do that. Um, no, you're good. Um, and let's see what's next on the program since mm -hmm. I have... Oh, I love the show. Listen, y'all, here's a wonderful teaching on the shofar and why it is important. And let's go right now to Prophetess Carolyn. I, you got it? Prophetess Carolyn Abrams from Monroe. She's one of our ministry partners. She was on the network for a while, and she's coming back really soon. Um, let's watch this clip from Vintage Time, all the way from 2015. <laughs> this instrument is, uh, hopefully by the end of the program, you'll have a better understanding and clarity of why God would have us to blow the shofars. The Lord just called us to blow the shofar, and I started blowing the shofar, what, 97. 
in the Numbers chapter 10, it said, when you arrive in your land and go to war against your enemies, you must sound the alarm with these trumpets, so the Lord your God will remember you and rescue you from your enemies. Blow the trumpets in the times of gladness. To the sound of them at your annual feast and at the beginning of each month, rejoice over your burnt offerings and peace offerings. The trumpets will remind the Lord, God, your God, of his covenant with you. I am the Lord your God. The main thing the trumpets do reminds God. As you know, not, what is it, Isaiah or somewhere? Yeah, Isaiah said, put me in remembrance, God said. Put me in remembrance of, of my word. And that's what the trumpets does. It reminds God. I know We know that God knows everything. But he likes us to remind him of his word, of his covenant, of his promises. And we got to just do that. That's how you work the word and do the word, live the word, and walk the word. One of the things that the shofar does represent also was um, it's the spiritual sound of revival and power. And we know that when we, when we blow it, I mean, I've watched you guys blow it uh, in different places and different services and how strategic um, the Holy Spirit would be uh, in a service knowing that uh, he was trying to uh, bring, a, uh, bring us into a greater dimension, if you will. And I watched you both uh, go pick up your shofar and begin to blow precisely when I heard the Holy Ghost say it was time. How the Lord showed me was that the shofar represented the very breath of God blown into the nostrils of his people because without God and without his breath we don't exist. I just want to pray for the listeners. Father, we just we thank you so much, God. We thank you for every listener, God. We thank you for every person out there, God, that under the sound of our voice, Father, that your word would go forth, God, that the things that are spoken today, God, would just penetrate the hearts and minds of those all across the airwaves, God. We just say thank you for giving us the privilege and the honor just to speak, God. Father, we just say you have your way in every life. Father, if they don't know you and the free pardon of sin, we pray, Father, that salvation would come to the household. You said today is the day of salvation, so we thank you for salvation today for every listener. In Jesus' name. Dr. Beverly Jordan, I'm so excited that you joined us on the One TV Telethon. Listen, we're excited. 2021 is the year. Yes, we crossed over from 2021 into this new year, a new season. And even in this year, I'm sure all of you have already experienced and felt the shift, the literal shift that took place at the end of May, the beginning of June. And so now there's a new flow for new things. And in this season, God is ready to propel us. But are we cooperating with the propelling, with the acceleration, with the momentum of the King of Glory and his kingdom citizens, which are you and I? Listen, I'm coming today to appeal to you. As I've said earlier, we are in our telethon. The One TV is in our annual telethon. I want to make sure I say that very slowly so that you grasp what I'm saying. That means that I'm appealing to you and you and you to consider us in donating, in seeding, in giving, in planting a seed, a valuable, precious seed. Listen, we are going to our next level. Can I just stop for a moment and tell you a little bit about the Juan TV? I have been so blessed. As many of you heard when I talked about my show, uh, I had a special show that I dedicated to Destiny Helpers. And in that show, I talked about two great people who are instrumental players who have been pivotal even for you being able to see me right now. And that's none other than the executive producer of the WAN TV, none other than Prophet Blaine, if I may say, Prophet Blaine Irving, and Elder Dr. Prophet Linda Hunt. Those two, I mean, they have been after me and had been after me to come aboard and let my voice be heard. Let the masses hear what the Spirit of the Lord was saying to his church through me, the prophet. And so it took some coasting. 
But I want you to know, Prophet Blaine Irving, the CEO and executive producer of this broadcast and owner of this station, was so, uh, how shall I say, instrumental that he provoked me to come aboard. And I have been so blessed and I pray that my audience has been blessed. I know it's a kingdom assignment and so I want this broadcast to continue. I want this television to continue, this, this station to continue, but we have to go to the next place because the shift has already taken place and we want all of you to shift with us. If you've not shifted, I'm encouraging you today, shift. If you haven't already shifted, I'm encouraging you today, shift. If you haven't shifted, I'm encouraging you today, shift into the new and flow in the rivers of the new. Now what I'm asking you today, I'm appealing to each and every one of you, is if you would give your best donation, your best seed, and I believe for everyone who's under the sound of my voice that will make the sacrifice of a minimum of $100. I know for some that's large and for many that's small. And for those of you who feel led, please, by all means, you can donate $1,000, $2,000, $5,000, $10,000, Whatever you feel led by the spirit of the living God to donate so that we go to the next level. We want to extend our broadcasting through Roku, Fire Stick, and so many other platforms. We're going to be purchasing some new equipment. We want to extend the broadcast. Many of you know we preach the gospel, we teach the gospel, we prophesy, we talk about business on the One TV, we introduce new entrepreneurs, we do advertisements. There are so many things, so we're not locked in. We're definitely a kingdom people led by the King of Glory for the station that has been ordained in this hour and this time to broadcast a kingdom message. And we want you to partake in doing that. So if you would, I'm appealing to you, a minimum of $100. If you don't have it today, if you say, Prophet, I don't have it today. However, I'm committed to giving it to, uh, to sewing it when I get my check. Listen, give me a call. I'd love to work it out with you. We have so many ways to give. You can give through Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. There are so many ways. If you look at the bottom of the television, um, you will see the, the producer has given us so many options to ensure we don't miss out on the privilege of sowing into this great work. Listen, there are many souls that are being led to Christ, many souls that are being delivered, many souls that are being restored, many souls that are being encouraged, many hearts are being enlightened, many eyes have been opened, and many have come to the knowledge and the understanding of God and his love and his son, Jesus Christ. Through this station, a station, a broadcast, a podcast that has been king, dumb, und ordained. Kingdom ordained. So listen, I want you to join me in sowing today, giving, donating, planting that invaluable seed, the seed that makes an indelible mark in the earth, in the kingdom, to continue to carry the voice, to support the voices that are heralding the word of God that are proclaiming his kingdom promises. And I want you to know those of you who are in this hour and have an expectation of restoration, please join me because I promise you, you we are in a season, in a time. And I know a lot of times we say, oh, we've heard all of that. Yes, there are areas, there are eras, and there are times and there are seasons. But we are in a pivotal moment in this hour and time to sow. So I'm asking you 
give your very best seed. And when I said that can be a thousand dollars, two thousand, five thousand, ten dollars, ten thousand. Notice I did not blink because I know that God has already ordained. There are multimillionaires out there. There are those out there that have a hundred thousand dollars. I don't think from a poverty standpoint. So I know that the money is in the earth and it's in kingdom people accounts. So I'm asking you, would you be willing to partner with me? Your host of Wealth Builders, Dr. Beverly Jordan of The Wand TV, would you be willing to partner with me and sow a minimum of $100 a minimum of $100. Would you do that for me? We would love for you to join us in expanding God's kingdom. Oftentimes there's a conversation, but let's join with the forces of the finances to expand and increase our influence and our power in the earth with the financial resources called money. Money is a defense and money answers all things. Will you answer? Again, you can give. There are the ways that you can give are at the bottom of the screen and you can give through PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, personal check. However you decide to give, made many options available. I'm simply asking you to give. Sow it for your children. Sow it for your business. Sow it for your ministry. Sow it for your marriage. Sow it for your community. Sow it for your health. Sow it for your um, uh, relationships. Sow and make it a sacrificial seed. Will you do that for me? make it a sacrificial seed. The Bible says that God gives seed to the sower. And so if you don't have it and you pray and ask the Lord, Lord, I want to sow. I want to be a part of taking one network to their next level. I want to be instrumental in them reaching more souls for you. I want to be instrumental in being an influence in the earth along with one TV. Lord, would you give me that seed? Or Lord, I feel like I want to sow a thousand dollars. Should I sow more? Should I sow five thousand? Maybe it's five thousand that you should sow. Ask the Lord. If you've been one that have held back, you missed another opportunity where God told you to sow and your heart became hard the day that you heard his voice. Well, here's a time where redemption is here. He's already forgiven you if you've asked for forgiveness. But it is a time of redemption where you can redeem the time and redeem that opportunity, that missed opportunity, and so, and so generously, not sparingly, but generously. He who spared not his own son. So how much more will he give you? There is sin. There is time and there is harvest. Genesis 8.22 says, as long as the earth remains, there will be seed, there will be time, and there will be the harvest. Why don't you consider being like Jacob, no, Isaac, excuse me. He sold, and in that same year, he reaped a harvest. He sold, and in the same year, he reaped a harvest. I believe with you by faith that if you sow in this hour of restoration, in this hour of restitution, because truly such a momentum and acceleration that God is doing and bringing influence in the earth through new voices. So let your money, let the anointing on your money let the voice of your dedication to the expansion of God's kingdom speak for you. Thank you for your contribution.
Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your encouragement. Thank you for tuning in. And also, I want you to invite a friend to sow. Tweet someone and ask them to sow. Let them know that the One TV is on the air and we are doing our annual telethon for 2021 because we're going to the next level. Invite them to go to the next level with you. Again, we're asking for a minimum of a $100 seed. If you can't do the $100, do your very best. Pretend it's a hairdo. Pretend it's your nails and manicure, pedicure. Pretend it's that new purse with somebody else's name on it that makes you so excited. Pretend it's those new gym shoes that the men so love or the new tie or the new gear, the new, uh, uh, new cap or the new wallet or the new belt with someone else's name on it. Make the sacrifice to pretend you're putting it on your flesh. <laughs> All right, souls are at stake. Hearts, minds, and souls to be won, delivered, encouraged, and pushed over to the next place in God and in their destiny. Will you join me in being a destiny helper for those that we're yet to, to um, be broadcast to or to hear the sound of our voice? And for those that have seen this, here, heard the sound of our voice and are blessed, will you join me, your sister, your friend, and your host, Dr. Beverly Jordan of Wealth Builders, promoted, advertised here, right here on the WAN Network. So let's commit this day, all right? Thank you for joining us. So stay tuned. We want you to continue watching the telethon all the way through. The Lord has a word for you because I promise you it is a time of restoration and restitution. Now allow me to pray for you and pray with you. Father God, I thank you for each and every vessel, every anointing, Father God, that has been destroyed by the yokes, oh God. The yokes have been destroyed, oh God, by your power, by your fire, oh God. Let the word God go out and even into the airways, into the byways and highways, oh God, and through the airways, let it destroy the yoke. Father, we annihilate by the power of your word. Father God, every demonic strategy of hell that have tried to lock the people in, oh God, cause them to operate in the spirit of stinginess, greed, and poverty in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare that it's broken by the power of God in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare, oh God, old paradigms and mindsets have been broken and now they're shifted out of the old into the new, oh God. And the momentum and the acceleration, oh God, for accumulation, oh God, for increase and impartation of the new anointing for the new assignment being mantled for the greater in this hour is their portion, oh God. So Father God, let the anointing that destroys the yoke, oh God, go through the airways, oh God, touch the hearts, oh God, of those that are called, oh God, to sow, oh God, into this telethon and to reap the bountiful harvest that you have for them, their family, their lives, their business, business their marriage, their ministry, their health, oh God, cause it to be so cause, oh God, those to sow that there would be witty inventions, oh God, give them dreams and creativity, oh God, breathe on books, oh God, that they're working on, oh God, breathe on transaction business deals that they're working on, oh God, bring divine connections and alignment, oh God, Father God, uproot the spirit of offense, oh God, where they were in places and in stations and in connections, oh God, but the enemy, oh God, the spirit of offense got in and driven, drove them out, oh God, of their great place in you, oh God. Father God, let the anointing that destroys yoke be their portion, oh God. And I pray, oh God, that every seed that is sown 
Oh, Father God, let it be a quick harvest, a quick manifestation. Let them know this is good ground for your namesake and for your glory. We decree and declare that it is so, and it is so, and it is so, and it is so, and so it is. In Jesus' name, we pray. God bless you. Welcome. I hear an echo in my ear. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the One TV Telethon. I'm so excited. Listen, I just want to let you all know we have, um, during the break, it was brought to my attention that one of you watching has given and uh, donated a thousand dollars. Thank you so much to that person who donated and gifted. Thank you so much for your dedication to this network. I appreciate you so much. What a blessing. Um, and that means that we are moving up up the scale. We're going to get to our goal. We want to raise $100,000. And that will help us get to where we need to be. All this week. All this week. We're doing that all this week. So if you can't give to that, you know, if you're still waiting on a check or you need to go lose some money from the bank or an IRA, wherever you're getting it from, that's okay too. Um, we're going to be doing it all this week and we have plenty more programs just like this that we're getting ready to share with you because we have over 5,000 shows that uh, we are sharing. We're not sharing them all tonight. We have over 5,000 shows <laughs> we have to pick from. Let me be clear. Right. Um, we're we, not showing them all and, week. <laughs> no, we're not showing them all week. But we, we, will, be, uh, uh, we will be picking and ha are picking from those programs to show you um, for, for the purpose of the telethon. Um, so I'm very excited. So anyway, I want to introduce to you one of... Um, one of our other originals, I guess we have a lot of originals today, uh, one of our other originals, which is uh, Bishop Daryl Harris and his beautiful wife, um, Pastor White Therese Harris. They had a show with us for a while, but Bishop is really busy out in the community helping people at the moment. So check out this clip from the live show that aired on this network in 2015, 2016, and 2017. Go ahead to the clip. Yay. Look, we're excited tonight. Thank you so much. And I believe that our show tonight is going to deal a lot in the area of ministry. It can be one of the most confusing terminologies in the Bible and in the world, especially if you're not necessarily Bible or church oriented. You hear concepts like ministry, you know, there's just so many different ways to take the idea of what ministry is. You have your general ministry, you say, doesn't everybody have a ministry in the world? And I think I want to extend this conversation across the month because okay. I think that it's something that's really important uh, in particularly for people. I just want to let you know that the gifts that we're talking about are going to really be related, not so much around vocations, but it's really going to be more related to biblical and church type ministry. Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the topic that you have given us and for the insight that you have revealed to us through your word. We ask, O oh Lord God, that we will travel through your word the way you would have us to travel and that we, O oh Lord God, will help to minister to someone today about a ministry that they may not have known about previously. And we thank you and we bless you in Jesus' name. For unbeatable towing capacity, family style seating, and an intuitive infotainment system. No one brings the muscle like the 2021 Dodge Durango. Here at Northland Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram. With new headlamps, an updated grille, spoiler, and powerful V8 engine, the Dodge Durango displays the look and feel that makes it stand alone. The Durango is the Dodge family SUV offering seating capacity for up to seven passengers with a handsome steering wheel, dashboard features, as well as a 10 inch configurable home screen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, integrated navigation and Amazon Alexa capability. So come take a test drive with me, Kenny Thomas Jr. and the 2021 Dodge Durango here at Northland Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram. 
Well, welcome back again. And uh, that commercial that you just saw is someone that dealership is very, very dear to me because I formerly uh, was a salesperson with that, not that particular dealership at the time, but this uh, dealership that was in Southfield that was a Chrysler dealership. But my manager who now owns that dealership and he is one of the first African Americans that owned a, a Chrysler dealership, he and some other partners. So I want to give a shout out to Mr. Kenny Thomas. I thank him for being my sponsor over the uh, years and thank him for giving me that, that opportunity that I had. Uh, that was how the Marketplace Connection really came about was uh, when I was in sales, uh, sitting at my desk, um, and people would come to me and they would talk to me about their credit, cry to me about not being able to get a car possibly. But God would always have a way where I was able to uh, talk to people, pray with people, whatever the case may be. So my customers got used to it. Uh, they would come and visit me even when they weren't buying a car until I kick them out. I'm like, look, I got to get back to work. <laughs> I have to sell a car. That's what I'm here to do. But I That's had so gained respect for that dealership and they knew who I was and they allowed me to do what God had called me to do and I still sold cars and I was successful at it, did it uh, at that particular dealership for 12 years. And so I just want to thank Mr. Kenny Thomas for giving me that opportunity then and then becoming a sponsor for me now in doing what I do along my journey after leaving selling cars. So I just want you to know um, from the perspective of being able to do your ministry wherever God has called you. And that was where the Marketplace Connection was really started because I knew I was a Marketplace Minister. I knew I was called outside of the four walls of the church to be able to do something so much greater for God that even though I was ministering inside, but I knew on the outside there was so much more for me. And God led me here uh, to become a team member with uh, Dr. Rhoda Bird and Blaine, Prophet Blaine Irving, and that's how my ministry went to the next level. So I just want Come you to now. know that, you know, wherever you are right now, and I always talk about purpose, he knows that, that's, that's part of my, my ministry is because I wanna see people know who they are called to be and what God has called you to be. So if you don't know who, what your purpose is, please, you know, watch the Marketplace Connection. And I am sure that you will see somebody that is on that particular broadcast that will mirror to you what God is calling you to do, what you've been thinking about, what you've been praying about. And so when you see it, let me know and say, look, I know from watching the Marketplace Connection that God has blessed me to know what my purpose is because you are called to do some great things in the earth. So I just thank God for, uh, again, Northland Chrysler for giving me uh, that particular opportunity at that time. And so now we are going to have a clip uh, from Kingdom Vision from the uh, Apostle uh, Sharice Lewis. Uh, this is uh, uh, Prophet Blaine and a uh, Prophet Ideas, a, a Prophet Apostle, whatever <laughs> both of them are. <laughs> They're a I'm mixture sorry. of both of them. They really are. And this is uh, their uh, uh, mother in the Lord. So all of us have a covering. I want you to know that. That is so important. Even though this is our business, we are prophets and apostles in this house, but we have a covering. We have a covering. And so uh, we are not out here, you know, just doing this, you know, because of the fact that we are, you know, just running around without a covering. We have a covering. And so this is his covering, uh, Apostle Sharice uh, Lewis and Kingdom. Kingdom Vision. Kingdom Vision. Welcome to Kingdom Vision Radio Broadcast. May the eyes of your understanding be enlightened as we share Kingdom Vision and revelation from the Word of God. All our radio listeners on today we are excited of course we want to welcome you to kingdom vision radio broadcast and of course my name is apostle sharice lewis i am excited on today i just want to give thanks and praise to our lord and savior jesus christ who is king of kings lord of lords and we thank him for dying on the cross that we might have a right to eternal life that's right God is so good on today and every day, even when we don't feel him, he's there. 
He said, Lo, I'm with you always, even until the end of the world. So I just thank God on today. I also want to thank all our radio listeners from Worldwide Prophetic Kingdom Ministries and our intercessors who are on the prayer wall even now and those who have paved the way as we were traveling here on today. I can feel the presence of God in the atmosphere in this radio broadcast. And I thank God for his presence in the atmosphere, in the building, that God has called us to be a part of something unique and outstanding. And I want to say to you, you can too can be a part of it if you sow a seed. Amen. Perhaps God has given you something to plant. Amen. And you want to plant as we go out into the nations. And even on today, I want to thank God for those in Israel who are listening on today and those who are in 40 nations who are listening on today and some even may be watch, watching us on today and of course those in America and I want to send love to California a man who listens on a regular basis and even of course those in Michigan I thank God for you to continue to support this radio broadcast ministry and we want to begin with prayer of course father in the name of Jesus we thank you on today we honor you we glorify we magnify your holy name we thank you for the power of the holy ghost we thank you lord god for the resurrection anointing on today we thank you lord god for clarity in the realm of the spirit and the natural we thank you for actuating the promises of god from the heavens oh god bringing them to the earth room we thank you for open heaven on today we give you the honor and the glory we thank you lord god for doors of wealth being open and Lord God wealth being transferred to your people on today we thank you for witty inventions and new ideas we thank you for prophetic strategies to shut down the gates of hell and every demonic spirit that will try to block stop or hinder us from moving forward in the things that God has ordained for our lives we thank you for the power of the Holy Ghost we place divine parameters around us to cover us with the blood of Jesus Christ on today and we give you the honor and the praise and the glory we thank you for your healing virtue that's permeating throughout this broadcast on today where there's sickness where there's pain where there's disease we bind it up we shut it down we tear it down and we thank you for releasing your healing virtue the glory of the Lord shall permeate throughout the broadcast on today and somebody shall receive a documented miracle we rebuke the spirit of pain right Right now in the body and we thank you Lord God for a praise report during this hour Lord God of your healing virtue being released we give you the praise the honor and the glory and Lord even those who are in court on today we ask that you Lord God give them favor on today and documentation with paperwork going through on today we thank you for the power of the Holy Ghost we thank you for the glory zone the supernatural power of the Holy Ghost and we we give you the praise, the honor, and the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. <laughs> I'm Michelle. I'm Jordan. We're here to talk to you today about the One TV, the One International Worship Online Network in all of its glory. Right now, this is the cleanest studio space that we have because our studio that is not mobile is uh, under construction. <laughs> so I'm sure you can relate because our world is under construction right now. Literally. Things being torn down and built up. Um, so... I just wanted to talk to you today about the idea of how things are different, particularly in the area of broadcast and why the one is really the one. We've seen the dismantling of small businesses. We've seen corporations getting bigger. We've seen what TV stations do when there's no checks and balances. And then when there's so many checks and balances on the flip side, we have this thing called censorship or you have sponsors you have to make happy or you have audiences you need to make happy to keep the monies coming in and there's all these people that you answer to and it all leads to restriction with this platform that the one tv allows all of us to have is 
If you want to stop and launch into prayer, you can. If you feel God moving you in another direction, you have a freedom of expression that comes from being around the right people, that you have that correct connection. And speaking of the right people, sometimes you have to wonder if you're with the right people or not when you've made things happen when you've made your own networking connections. We first became aware of Blaine, who runs this, in a very natural way. I think we bought him a turkey. <laughs> we did! <laughs> yes, yes! That was our form of support. I'm sorry, Blaine, but you were running some kind of a thing. You were giving turkeys to people. <laughs> that is when we met Blaine. We met him. Poultry pals. That was it. No, he was... <laughs> We ministry. found out about a Thanksgiving meal drive that was going on to allow families that didn't have the ability to have a, a good meal on Thanksgiving. Blaine was running it and helping people buy turkeys. But I felt, felt drawn. I gotta buy this guy a turkey to give someone. Why? I have no idea. But we just noticed through Facebook um, that Blaine's posts and his, his reaching out to us um, he felt like a friend and family for no other explained reason because we didn't even talk by phone. And when we did finally talk by phone over a period of several months, wow. Okay, so I get it. It's not always the owner or the, the words that you see written. Sometimes there's just a, a connection that draws you simply because... God says you guys fit. Mm -hmm. You fit. For that reason, I can't really separate out the idea of what Blaine does with who Blaine is. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so for me, there's a trust level there that um, I feel very comfortable with. And I like that. It makes it very unique and very different. And I like that one spelled backwards is now. I know it seems ridiculous, but as a as a language person, I look at those things and I keep thinking, okay, so maybe now is a good time. Do you think? Absolutely. So, looking forward to seeing what more of One TV has that God's bringing forth in the coming months. And excited as always to see how God will be using Blaine and everyone else involved. Nowadays, to my knowledge, there are no turkey drives, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> One TV is looking to expand their broadcasting capabilities. So if you feel like this is something that you are being led to be part of, you can give towards the cause of making there be bigger and better broadcasting things and all that it entails. Yes, streaming and audio equipment and visual equipment is ridiculously maybe, maybe expensive. A maybe a green screen? This is not a green screen. <laughs> oh, hey, that's actually better. Oh, is it? Let's say a prayer before we close, huh? Yes. Okay, you lead. Alright. So, God, we ask that you would come in and invade the space that's rightfully yours of all the people here that are listening and watching this that you would show up and have it be a beautiful and unexpected moment in the middle of the day or evening whenever this is being streamed and that you would bless and bring fruit from all the seeds that one tv has planted and keep healthy the harvest that is already growing be the in-between all the airwaves and that there would be evidence of protection and seclusion and at the same time a sphere of influence and effectiveness however that balance looks that we would all of us would understand that this is a gathering place Welcome back, everybody. I hope you listen. I hope you're enjoying this program because it was a lot of fun to put together. I hope you are enjoying seeing what we have done, what we can do, what we will be doing. And listen, it's so funny 
to hear them talk about that turkey drive because I remember the first year we did this turkey drive and I, I do want to point out we we were broke we were so broke and like had no money like we really couldn't even afford a turkey for ourselves to be really honest and um I, I, I had my wife in the house we were recently married obviously like a month <laughs> and, and I had a and I had um prophetess Alexis with us and I said we're going to do this turkey drive and um we really had no money, but I, I got all this money. To, well, I, I all this money. I got the. I got. I raised money from from all the, the the hosts that we had. Not all of them did it, but a few of them. And I said, God, I want to bless the people for Thanksgiving. And uh, we went to Kroger, and they happened to have the two testimony, and we, we we probably had enough turkeys, enough money for like five turkeys, maybe six. It wasn't a lot. My wife said we had like $120. I think it, yeah, if it was that. So in any case, we went to Kroger and um, we went to Bougieville Kroger, of course. And um, they did have a sale going on, but the manager saw me coming up with six turkeys and she said, well, what are you doing? And I said, well, I'm blessing the people. I'm paying for these turkeys and we're going to bless the people. And she said, okay. And she walked up to the register and she typed in something. And our hundred and twenty dollars that would have reached us like, you know, six, seven turkeys, I don't know how much it was, because we got a whole bunch of other stuff. It wasn't just the turkeys, it was like everything. We ended up walking out with thirty-five turkeys, um, with stuffing and with all the other cool stuff that that goes along with it, all the cans and it, it was just miraculous. So any case it was during this time this time that I had um I knew Michelle and Jordan from um from they used to uh be on uh, Prophet Kim Clemens program and I, I followed them because she's a beautiful prophetic painter by the way and um, I just started sending out messages to everybody that I know knew and didn't know and people I was friends with and you know and I, I looked at the PayPal and all of a sudden I saw this donation from you know from Michelle and Jordan and first I, I about fell out of my chair because I thought my my god you know, people like like that don't don't give to little people like us, but they did, and it was a blessing. We got to bless people. So, any case, with our expansion, we want to expand our studios and all that, but we also want to do more for the community. And so, as you help us give towards that one hundred thousand dollars this week, which is what we're hoping to raise, um, largest amount we've ever tried to raise, by the way. Um, that's going to go to our, our much larger buildings, which will give us the ability to do food drives and help the community. And we're going to have uh, like a closet there for people that need to get some clothes and stuff like that. And you know what? I'm getting for the first time while I'm sitting here, we're going to have new clothes for them, for the people that cannot do it. Because I know what it feels like to not have clothes and have your clothes, you know, taken away because, you know, you know, stuff. So we're going to partner with stores, we're going to do some cool stuff, um, and we're going to be able to bless the people with new clothes because I don't want to wear raggedy, trashy clothes. And um, my wife has got a whole bunch of ideas over there. We're going to do baby showers, we're going to do food drives, we're going to do new clothing. Anything else you want to add, dear? No. Um, so we're going to do some cool stuff. So help me raise this $100,000 so that my team and I can do all the cool things that we want to do, um, that we have a desire to, and that God has called us to do. This is not just an idea that we came up with one morning, because I promise you, if you want to if you want to be like at peace and uh, enjoying life and life is not hard, don't go into ministry. Don't bother, because if that's what you're looking for, you're not going to find it here. Um, it's going to be hard. It's going to suck. You're going to have to you know, pray, you're going to have to fast, you're going to cry. Yeah. So uh, this was my mantle. This was my purpose. This was uh, uh, Linda's purpose, who's, you know, had to cry through the process too. And and and, uh, um, and uh, our director of outreach, uh, Minister Cindy, uh, is, is such a blessing here. Um, she's been a blessing. And I know it's her heart to, to give more to the community. That's what we want to do. Um, so this $100,000 is going to a whole lot more than just what you see. It goes to a lot of behind the scenes stuff, but you get to see this cool stuff. Um, so I'm very excited. Um, so listen, speaking of my friend, my friend Linda, I love Linda. <laughs> speaking of my friend Linda, I love my Linda. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes she irritate me. Sometimes I irritate yes. her, but I love my life. Whatever. Ain't nobody ask you. So, well, that's how family is. It is. You know, we, we get on each other's nerves. We, we have our moments and our, you know, just... That's right. <laughs> now, he called me his, his office wife. My, <laughs> my wife just said sometimes she comes here and we're just bickering about it. She doesn't know what. But it's funny. Linda said I, I call her my office wife because I literally... <laughs> <laughs> Without having a double life, I sort of do have a double life because my wife gets to be at home and watch the kids, which, by the way, for any mother, 
I salute you because being a mother sucks. It's hard. <laughs> it's a hard job. So I salute you, wife, my darling. Um, but I have a quote unquote fun. I, I, I joke. And say, now, all of you religious people, don't get on my nerves and talking about something. You can't have two wives. That's not biblical. That's, uh, we're just being funny. But I have a I have an office wife because she really is like my best friend. She's been through, you know, all sorts of she's been through the good, the bad, the sucky, the in-between. Um, our relationship was so heated and one time I actually fired her, which is so... <laughs> So hard, I, I did. forgot about that. She actually fired her because <laughs> we weren't, we just weren't getting along, and it, it sucked. Um, but um, it didn't take long. She had to come back home, <laughs> and she said yes. And I was really terrified she wasn't going to say yes. So anyway, um, we're getting prophesied to come on, y'all. Prophesy. What does the comment say? Come on. So someone just. Okay, mm -hmm. I can't repeat all that because I, I can't remember like that. But basically, someone just prophesied to us and said that we're going to be, uh, okay, two women pro just prophesied. By the way, I love women in ministry, okay? Yes. I just want to let you all know that even though the head, quote unquote, of this ministry is a dude, it's me, there's raggedy old African boy that wears shorts and no shoes, but I support women in ministry. I don't have a single hair on my body that is concerned about having a woman in ministry. Because you know what? Had it not been for that one woman in ministry that was willing to step aside and and and, and love on me and, and, and let the Holy Ghost use her, I would have died and I would have never got the opportunity to be who I am today. So all you women, I love you. I encourage you. If you need somebody to push you and to get you to that next level on ministry, I feel the heat of God up in here. Mm -hmm. Come to the one network. I will support you. I will yes. encourage you. I will push you. I will birth you if I have to in certain in certain areas. That's what we do because this this place has so many names. It's the one TV. It's the, um, it's the prophet's house. It's the birthing place. That's what God called it. He called it all those things so I say I love women in ministry come here you will be protected and you will kept safe here I don't care what nobody say if you are an apostle prophet woman of God you come here it don't matter who's supporting you will support you okay yeah so anyway somebody was prophesying to us I guess it opened up a portal I love y'all so listen speaking of my friend um, here's a clip from 2016 if I remember I don't wow. remember the exact date on them back in the day when we were in the Ford bit okay I'm wow. done. Um, here's a clip this is one of her 1200 guests and um, I just want you to watch this because it was so cool to watch go ahead But he brought us here just for you. And it was the goodness of the Lord. David said, if, if I would have fainted, if mm. I did not believe to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living, God wants you to know that in this land, the land of the living, God has goodness, his goodness and his mercy. They follow you all the days of your life. And so we thank God for that. And we're just going to jump right into our, our program today. We got all the names right, girl. I'm, I'm Impressed. I'm impressed. You got all the names right. Good morning. Good morning. Good, good morning. morning. Thank you. I use the theory of a butterfly, okay. and we know a butterfly starts off as an egg, and then it goes to a larva. It transforms into a caterpillar, then goes in that cocoon before it becomes a butterfly. And oftentimes, those are stages, and we get uncomfortable at every stage. But baby, if we just hold on, if we just if we just grip it in, if we know that to trust in the Lord with all our heart and lean not to yes. our own under see that's the you know we are good at trusting the Lord but yeah. not leaning we don't we don't know how to lean how to they lean. say they say lean <laughs> lean not to your own understanding God is a God that is a God of greater he's a God of and greater. he and he wants to do great things in your life transform in the renewing of your mind today so we thank God for what is going to happen in your transformation that is going to take place today but when God originally gave me the vision for it, he told me to do this coaching and then all the other streams come out of it. And I kind of lost my way along the way because when I started doing the cosmetics and it became really big and okay. it was making, making money. money. Come on, I'm being, <laughs> I'm being transparent. I'm being transparent. I moved away from the coaching kind of and was doing it part time. And God said, that's not what I told you. I told you to coach, and I told you the cosmetic was a stream.
Good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Pastor Joseph. I am the pastor at Anointed Impact Ministries. We all know that there's a telethon going on trying to raise funds for to take the one network to, to bring to take the network to another level. And I just want to get on here this morning and share my experience uh, with the network as well. When I began and God touched me to launch out in ministry, I didn't really have an idea of how I was going to be able to do that. But I actually wound up being a guest to someone else who had a, a program already with the network. And from that point on, I was able to launch a ministry just from that. Um, I believe that the One Network is very, very important. I think that, you know, uh, it's helping to get the gospel out. It's helping to get souls saved, set free and delivered. It's bringing new souls into the kingdom. And it's helping those that are already in the kingdom. Uh, I think that each and every host can testify with me that that the network is very important, especially when you're charged with getting the word of God out, and, and which we are. It is very, very important that this network is a very, very important thing. Uh, your giving will also just help the network grow even the more so that we can reach out to more and more people and get the good news of the gospel spread. In my experience with the network, it's been nothing but spectacular. Uh, they've only helped me to grow. They've only helped me to be better as a even as a pastor, but just helping me in growing my ministry, uh, giving me ideas that will help me to grow the ministry, uh, just being there to be able to allow me to, to preach and teach the word so that the word can go out. Uh, every experience that I've had with everybody that's involved with this network has been nothing short of awesome. Uh, I have great respect. I have great love. I just love being here. Uh, it's one thing about going into to, to the office or going into the studio and just being in that atmosphere. You know, it, it's such a great spirit-filled atmosphere that sometimes once I'm done, I don't even leave right away. I just like being being there. Why I love this network. I love the people, um, the, the prophet Blaine and, and, and Miss Linda. They've, they've just shown love. If I had it to do all over again, I would still choose to be here. Uh, walking in the door from day one, I was shown nothing but love and respect. We thank you for your giving. We thank you for those that are giving. And we thank you for those that are supporting us each and every week, uh, that are supporting the hosts. So now we're reaching out and asking you to support the network. So we thank you. Uh, we thank you for your giving. Uh, like I say, this is an awesome place to be. I would have it no better. Great experience, great people, and it's just important to get the word of God. Look, now we old emotional too. <laughs> <laughs> we get like this. All no. the time. By the That's way, right. I just want to point out, this was not planned. Mm -mm. I just told Lynn. Yeah, we're matching. It was not part of the plan. I just knew I had to bring my mantle. And actually, That's this right. mantle is really special it's to me. It's prophetic. Um, no one asked you, producer. So <laughs> this mantle is really special to me because I actually had a mantle from, from Rhoda. And um, I, I struggle. Every time I wore it, I just struggle to wear it, even though it was special to me. And the Lord, um, I had it one day at a service, and the Lord told me to give it to a young man. Um, don't know if you know what he got, but anyway. So this one is special to me because this is actually a scarf that my wife used to wear maybe once. I've only ever seen her once. Oh, she, well, she used to wear this on her head, I guess. Maybe that's why I haven't seen her wear it, because I stole it. Um, but it has such an anointing on it that um, it's my mantle now. Um, mm -hmm. So, And we didn't plan to dress like this. So anyway, that's go right. ahead. That's I, right. I digress. Yes. Well, I just want to thank uh, the person that said that they were giving because of the fact that they love me. And y you don't know what that <coughs> means to me. I mean, so many times when I am doing what I'm doing, you know, you have an opera, you, you have those times where you really doubt about whether you're really reaching people. Am I really doing what, you know, what God has called me to do? And am I doing it you know, the way he has called me to do it? Am I really reaching the heart of the people? And when I hear people make comments like that, I, I don't take it lightly. I really don't. Uh, there is I'm not. thankful for those comments because <laughs> it was a time when Linda walked into my office and said, yeah, I think I'm going to quit my shop. I was like, Linda, you're drunk. Get <laughs> yes, out of my I office. Did. Yes, I did. 
And so many times, I'm, I'm telling you, there were so many times. And when he wanted to take me, it was always when he wanted to take me to the next level. And and I have to admit, stupid prophet, I have to I have to <laughs> repent. I, I'm repenting on air. So she you repent, all, she listen, repenting publicly. Listen, on air. yes, I'm repenting publicly because that's what the Bible tells you to do. Because there were so many times when you uh, wanted to take me to the next level, and I really fought it. I fought you. I fought God. I fought, I fought it because of the fact that I just didn't see myself uh, being able to carry it, uh, carry the oil, carry the weight of it. Because, you know, when you go to the next level, there's, an, uh, there's a mantle that comes along with it. Oh, yes. And you have to be able to carry the weight of the mantle. And so I wasn't really sure if I was able to do it. Um, so many things that I, I thought I was going to be doing, but I wasn't doing. <laughs> so many places I thought I was going to be going to. <laughs> I even, talked to him about even, moving out of town. I was going to say, she's even tried to move out of state. And I was like. <laughs> she's tried. And you know, she, she has tried to move. I said, I'm packing up. I'm leaving, I'm moving, I'm going to Arizona. Then it was Atlanta, Georgia. I was trying, he said, well, we're gonna have an office in Atlanta. I'm like, oh, I was oh like, God. I'm, I'm good <laughs> but anyway, I, I do thank you for that. And thank you uh, for those that gave because of the fact that they, they love my broadcast, they love me. And that uh, prophetess uh, Jerry, uh, I thank God for you, uh, for your life, because I've known you over the years and I've known you to be a woman of God, a woman of character, a woman of integrity. And thank you. And for anybody else that has said that, that lets me know that I'm reaching people and that people appreciate the gift of God, because that's all it is. It's You're the not going to quit God. anymore, right? No, I'm not going to quit. I promise you. <laughs> I promise you I will oh, not leave uh, because if I do, God is just going to drag me back here. <laughs> Nothing <laughs> is going to work for me. <laughs> I'm glad so, you know that. Uh, yes. So I am here, and I'm here for the long haul. Amen. Blaine has already looked for a house for me. I mean, he's done everything he could. He took me out one day. He said, get in the car. <laughs> We're going house hunting. We're going Listen, house hunting. I believe in the, I believe in the impossible. Linda will tell you. I believe in the impossible. I will. I, I sign documents without money. I mean, I've yes. signed I've signed leases without money. That's right. I, I do. I ask him, how are we going to do this? You know, we move into an office. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You, you yeah. can't hear my wife, but she's talking about how. It, well, I, I'm gonna say every time. Walk in my office, time. start throwing th yeah. stuff in the box. We start packing. <laughs> and the Lord tell me start packing. We start packing, and we've literally done it before. Um, somebody that used to help us do all the techie stuff, and he was he was so helpful when he was here. Um, but it, it used to be where the Lord would tell me like on a uh, you know on a Monday or whatever we're gonna move, and then we move, and I'd be like we're gonna start broadcasting again in three days, and everybody's looking at me like he's lost his marbles. <laughs> and I, I've seen now. I just know Linda's looks when, when she look. And, but it's so. I don't even. She don't, I, it don't even move her I anymore. I don't phase me anymore. That's right. I just get in the car with him. He said, "Come on, let's go look at this building. Let's go. Let's go over here. Let's look at this apartment. Whatever it is." That's it. That's right. He takes me to lunch. <laughs> <laughs> That's because I can keep it quiet that way. So recently, I said to Linda, "I said the Lord said we're moving," and she looked at me. She's like, "Okay, well, until we move, I was like, why don't you do that?" And I was like, "No, we're not." And I was saying, "The Lord said we're moving soon, so we've gone looking for places and buildings." And this time, so I'm so used to a reaction that this time I was like, "Dang, nobody's even <laughs> reacting!" Like, dang. <laughs> I'm so used to everybody, like, you know, there'd be right. sparks and we're fireworks, say, and this okay. time it was just like, okay, we That's trust right. you. And I was like, but I don't know if I missed that or if I like these. But like, we were busting out of the scenes. We moved into this uh, studio that we're in right, right now. Right before pandemic, we yes. moved in here. This And this was huge. Yes. Yeah, we, yes. we grew it up really quickly, and it was like, this was like 2,000 square feet, which is huge, right? Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, and take in mind that in pandemic about, you know, Four, three months, four months in, of last year, mm -hmm. we weren't technically really here. Mm -hmm. um, we were at home. Yeah. And um, and from then and from you know April, May or whatever till now, it, we've just outgrown the space and it's time to move. So I'm setting my sights on something large, something that's like four to eight thousand square feet. And you know what? I just feel to say this right, right now: if you are a building owner and you believe in yes. us, I feel this in my yes. shit, in my. Yes. If you are a building owner and you believe in us and you're watching this saying, you know what, God, I want to be a part. That's how you can be a part. Help us by putting us in the building that the, the building that you 
you have. It has to be the building that God said. So if if you present it and, you know, I say, no, it's not because I don't like you. It's because the Lord said that's not it. The one thing my team will tell you is I'm going to do what the Lord tell me to do. I'm not interested in good opportunities, like opportunities. Come that's on, shit, that's that's somebody said, get, get ready for the new yes. building and the, new, um, the the larger building and the new equipment. Come on. That's it. I'm and, excited. And you know what? Right there, you know, whoever you uh, whoever you are. That will of that course. will be that person that will allow God to use you. Okay, I want you to know that when you do this for us, you are allowing God to use you. Even if you don't believe what we believe or the way we believe, you are allowing God to use you, and you will participate in the blessings of the Lord that will make you rich. Come on, Linda. and add no sorrow. So I'm just saying to you, I'm appealing to you, I'm prophesying, I'm decreeing to you that if you would allow us to come into that building, I guarantee you that you will be blessed. The land around you will be blessed. And God will bless you with even more buildings. He will bless you with bigger come buildings. On, he will bless him. you with more yeah, land. Yeah, he will bless you with more prosperity. He will bless you with good health. He will bless you with good wealth and prosperity. If you will bless us, you will participate in the anointing of God that flows out of this broadcast. So I just want you to know that if you have a building and you would allow the worship online network to be a part of that building, I tell you, you will be blessed because you'll share in the anointing that God has on our life. Come on. That's powerful. That's it. I'm excited. Thank you. And I'm excited. So my, you know, my team, we're all in this together. We're getting ready to expand. I know we're getting ready to add some new family members because we have got to grow and go to that next level. This is what God called us to do. God has called everybody to do something different, but this is what he called me to do. And baby, I ain't gave up in the last 5,000 shows. I'm yes. not giving up in the next 10,000 shows, okay? It ain't happening. It's just not happening. So listen, I have another clip I have to show you. And before I give you this clip, I want to share with you that this is Miss Yo-Yo. We know her as Yo-Yo. We love her. Mm -hmm. We partnered with her. Yes. To help get um, backpacks and school supplies to, to kids, particularly around September. Um, we'll be doing that again this year, hopefully, depending on how school, you know, school's kind of weird right now, right? But it's okay because kids still need their stuff. Um, so my, That's right. my wife got some crazy ballsy face in the, in the studio. She said, we're prophesying we're going to give them laptops and what? And well, iPads. I can't. Is there anything else? <laughs> This, tablets. And, and tablets and okay, this is gonna t you know all how, electronics. You know how Oprah used to do Oprah's favorite that's things. That's right. We we just gonna have to do Ida's favorite things. And that's right. And Oprah's Can't no I'm longer on the air, so she has left room. That's true. So somebody gonna have to replace that's, that's her. That's right. Right. And and Ellen is going off. That's true. Did so you hear that? so who's replacing? So, so who's when? replacing her? <laughs> <laughs> I prophesied so. to Linda in 2018 that God wanted to create, and I'm going to say this publicly for all y'all to keep her accountable and keep pushing her and keep encouraging her. God said in 2018 that Linda was going to be like an Ellen. That I don't know what that means. But she, God said she would be like an Ellen. And I even see right now, you're going to bless people like Ellen did and has. Amen. You're going to bless people like that. You're going to have a big budget to bless people with. Mm -hmm. A big budget. I, Bible school. You, I, even, I even hear the Lord say, you're going to bless people with homes that are mm. paid off. You're going to buy homes and pay it off for them. Ah, glory. And, glory. And Give away cars. Come on. And you get a car, and you get a car, and you get a car, and you get a house, and you get a house. That's right. That's right. That's right. We had a girl that came on our network that was blessed like that. That was blessed last, with a uh, car. Uh, I think the last show that I did, and she is also one of my authors on there that was blessed like that. And so I know if God did it for her on Oprah's network, Come since on. she came on my network. Come, Come on, on baby, Ghost. transferring <laughs> of the anointing. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, you're going to bring yes, the Kojic sir. out, and I ain't even Kojic. That's okay. right. This is Miss Yo-Yo Edens. <laughs> I love Miss Yo-Yo. She is the godmother to my daughter. I don't get to see her nearly often enough. Amen. Um, I would love to see her more. I'm trying to get her back to the network, girl, but she, listen, look, I'm like, girl, boy, dude, child, she busy in the community helping people. Um, so, any case, this is Miss Yo-Yo. We love Miss Yo-Yo. Take a look at this clip. We're here to encourage you on today because we live in a society now where people want more and more every day. It's never enough. We're in a society where everything is, um, 
based on the amount that you have, not the quality anymore. Um, I remember when uh, McDonald's came out with Super Size, and um, everybody thought that big was better. Um, and even now, when you go to some of the stores and you go to get a regular size pop, the only thing that they sell are one liter uh, beverages. We will be providing you again with practical and applicable tools that will assist you. Sometimes as men and women of God, we feel as though um, when we take up our cross and follow Him, that sometimes that means that you're going to be shortchanged in life. But that's contrary to the scriptures. The Bible lets us know that He come that we might have life and that more abundantly. And more importantly, He comes because He wants to also give you a life a long life and satisfy you and show you his salvation. Actually, people, you know, they greet with how much they're going through. But the more than enough show, if it's just every Tuesday that you can get a reminder that God has a plan for your life, not just for you, but for your children. And he wants to use us in mighty ways for kingdom work. When you look up the word enough, um, you know, even when um, we go to eat, everybody wants to be at the buffet. You know, it's not enough that you're full, but you have to be stuffed. <laughs> and in my terms, like I would share with my children sometimes, where you almost have to be wheeled out because you can't walk out because you just had over and beyond what your portion is. We are in a society where um, people want it all to be able to find that uh, their worth is there because they're not receiving less than everybody else. Enough is defined as as much or as many as required. A sufficiency and ample supply, a sufficient amount and adequate amount, as much as necessary. We are victorious. We win. So remember that. So if you hear anything that shakes your faith, do not allow your faith to be shaken because the game has already been played. Jesus has won for us. Game over. It will not be replayed and we will not lose something that we already have victory over. So that's my disclaimer for the stuff I'm getting ready to share with you on today. We need to walk in victory every day. Okay. We need to experience the freedom and presence of God in a deeper way so that we are capable of waging a good warfare. So when we know and understand spiritual warfare, then it gives us information and the wisdom we know to operate in that warfare and know how to choose our weapons so that we are able to incapacitate the enemy. It used to be Lucifer. When he was Lucifer, he had a whole different character. But because he made a decision to try to be God, he lost his name, he lost his position, he became Satan. While we are talking about him, we're going to let you know who he is, what he does, so that we are able to stand against the wiles of him and all of his cohorts. everyone I am Elder Geneva James with a word of encouragement to you and I would like to for you to join us on the one.tv this is a very important ministry and I am thanking God because it has enhanced my life I've been here um, almost a year and God is continuing to bless me he's continuing to help me to grow and I thank God for Prophet Blaine and what he's doing. And I am asking you to join us, hallelujah, on this telethon, that you would donate to this ministry. We are, we are uh, trying to raise $100,000, and we are asking you to be a blessing to us. This is a wonderful, blessed ministry that Prophet Blaine has here. Continue to join us and continue to watch 
We have all types of talk shows, uh, the preach word of God. My ministry is uh, encouragement to people that are bound by drugs, alcohol, and those that are going through domestic violence and, and uh, grief, and those you know who have lost loved ones. This is an all around ministry, reaching God's people. Come on in and join us and donate. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And you will be blessed. You will be blessed because this is a blessed ministry. We give God praise for it. And we know that it is going to continue to grow. We, hallelujah, need your help. And so we are thanking God for you in advance. Amen, amen, and amen. And we're back. Gosh, this has been fun. <laughs> uh, my producer just told me we've done this for three, almost four hours, you said? Mm -hmm. this, that's crazy, because I didn't plan any of this out. And Linda asked me when she got here, how long is this? I said, I don't have a clue, girl. <laughs> I just did what I felt to do. And I felt the, the stop this afternoon. When I had the clips, I was going to edit another one, and I just felt shh, and like a hush, like, okay, you're mm -hmm. good. Um, so I'm, I'm so excited. I did. Ah, oh, she kind of, right, we're not amen. just going to meet the goal of 100,000. Somebody <laughs> prophesied we will Praise reach the God. overflow. And we I'm just going to confirm it. that because that came to me this morning. I thought, you know, my God, what if we raise like 130 grand? Like, and I was like, okay, prophet, go back to sleep. You're tell, them, tell them a little bit about some of the things that you want to do here at the uh, network. <sighs> Some of the things. Yes. So the two most important, well, no, not most important things. The two things I want to do right now off the bat is I want to launch our streaming platform, which let me put a few in English, okay? So if you look at Netflix, if you look at new Hulu, if you look at HBO Max, how their websites look and flow and the, the TV apps and all that, that's what I want to do for us. And we, we could have tried to do this a long time ago. Mm -hmm. There's several third parties that can help you do that. However, the Lord told me to build everything from the ground up. Why? And he started this process with me in 2015. And every, everybody then was like, oh my God, he's just so extra. Why he got to build everything himself? Why he can't just be on Facebook like everybody else? Why he can't just have a YouTube channel like everybody else? Well, here's why. Because in a minute, some of you are going to be sticking your finger in the air. I ain't got a pot to piss in because you weren't paying attention. There's so much censorship going on. There's so many things that's getting ready to take place that have already been taking place. God told me to build our platform from the ground up so that we own our servers, we own our software, we own our infrastructure. This has been a process. Like we've been building, everybody thinks, oh, he do web design, he do hosting, and he, you know, they do this, and they do media, and they do billboards, but it's all part of God's greater plan to bring glory and honor back to him. So that's the first thing we've got to do. We've got to launch our streaming platform that we own off, off the bat, from the ground up. Everything is ours. And the second thing we want to do is we, we want to, increase our marketing strategy and our marketing reach drastically yes. through billboards through a whole a whole plethora of means and some of you might be saying well you know you can advertise for really cheap on on facebook you go go ahead advertise your your, your business on facebook i want to know play how that music uh, that. Uh, yeah uh, go ahead i want to see how that works for you play some music and then say you know, the, you know, this is not you know music that belongs to you you think that that's going to it be doesn't a work yeah, it doesn't work putting the disclaimer on there this, I don't own the rights to this music. Mm -hmm. Here's my question to you. Let, let's just think about this logically. Yes. If you don't own the rights to the music, why would you tell everybody you don't own the rights to the music? Like here, I'm going to give you a reason to put me off. Mm -hmm. Now for some of you might say, well, that's worked for me. Okay, well, maybe you're lucky. Mm -hmm. Okay. I know that's not my story. Facebook can't stand my guts. Okay. I'm just being honest. And I'm noticing my hosts, uh, several of my hosts are starting to have the same issue. Um, where, and it's not just about music. It's about the Word of God going forth. That's really. Remember, we wrestle, wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and, and rulers powers. and powers and high places. Mm -hmm. um, rulers of darkness and high, high places. So that's the second thing we want to do. Okay? It is important. And the third thing, and don't think that we're doing, the, the, doing it in this order because they probably all need to happen at the same time. The third thing is, is we must move into our larger building because we must, I sound like Linda, we must, <laughs> we've upgraded our thinking. Now it's time that we expand our, our capacity, capacity because, because God wants to give us more. Listen, right. y'all, we actually need a much larger <laughs> studio. Huh? 
Ah, <laughs> post marketplace <laughs> test. That's funny. We actually need to. Um, we actually need a, a, a much larger studio that can yes. accommodate um, guests so, so yes. that we can have people that can come in. And we need a lot, much larger studio so we can build custom ses, sets for our house. Because some of these people have been here in the long haul. Like Linda, I think she overdue on us building a custom set for her. Okay? Mm. Ah, she cut pray, up. Pray with me. And the second thing, <laughs> and, and part of that is, so we need a much larger, big studio for that thing. But then we need a second studio that's probably a little bit larger than the one that we're in right now for those that are just getting their feet wet and their appetite or whatever. So we actually need two studios, a Studio A and a Studio B, um, so that we can do these things all in the same building, okay? And then I need several staff quarters because we have a director of outreach. We have a COO. We're looking at our CFO. I believe I know who they are. Production assistants. We need production assistants. I need an office. So we need at least 8,000. I mean, honestly, I keep looking at 4,000 square feet because it's making me feel a little better. But we realistically need like eight to 10,000 square feet. I'm just being mm -hmm. really real. Mm -hmm. We need a and whole we need a, We really need yeah. a warehouse yeah. that we can, you know, that's, oh, that's pre-built because anybody that, all of my team knows we walk into places that's pre-done for us. So this ain't going to be no different. It's going to be pre-ready for us. But everything we need. So that's really what we need. That's what we're going to do with it. Um, so uh, I actually wrote down some of the things. So anyway, um, I want to take this moment as we finish up because um, it's really time for us to go. Um, I want to let you know that if you want to join the One TV to do yes. a program, you do not have to be in, in Southfield or even in the state. Um, mm -hmm. um, I, day, I don't know if you can show them what the green screen looks like. Do you know how to do that? Yeah, so yeah. just add the middle camera in as a device again under NDI. You know how to do that? Okay, now find the middle camera, add it, and then you can just make it live. No, no, no. Go add a new device at the bottom. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, yeah, add an input. I want to show you guys something. So while she's doing that, at NDI. Okay, then add the middle camera. You'll see it. So anyway, while she's doing that, um, I'll tell you when to put it live. So just add it. I'll tell you when to put it live. Um, you do not have to be here in the state of Michigan. In fact, you don't even have to be in the country. Mm -hmm. We can do a television production for you no matter where you are on the planet so long as you have internet connection, a decent internet connection, okay? Um, and you can actually use your phone. Uh, um, we are working on putting together what we're going to call studio in a box. Um, ah! <laughs> Okay, I received three studios. And I'm not going. And we're going to be able to have call-ins. <laughs> dang, guys! Okay, come on, <laughs> um, yeah. Yes, we're going to do, we're going to do so many cool things. Um, so let me finish here though. So you can do your show from anywhere. You can actually use an iPhone SE or higher. Okay, um, the quality is superb. It's beautiful. It's fantastic. Um, and actually, just like we're standing in front of this, and you see this beautiful set, this is what it actually looks like. Look how beautiful. Look Isn't how that great? Different that look. So yeah, we that, have this beautiful cute green. We have this cute <laughs> green. We have this cute green color, okay? Money green, we'll Mo say. That. Money green. Come yes. on, prophesy, Money prophesy. Green. The walls are prophesy. <laughs> so we have this beautiful green and the, and watch. Now it's gonna go back to the set. Oh my god. Look at that. Um, so you can actually do that same green screen effect from wherever you are, and we will do it. You just have to, you know, either paint a wall green or get or some green it. fabric. You can buy, buy those. You can yeah. buy the kits yeah. online. Yeah, right online. Um, don't just buy any kit because some of them are cheap, and the fabric is thin, and you can see. Mm -hmm. um, Y'all, listen. I don't mean to be funny. Um, <laughs> watch this, guys. So you can't tell over here, but let me see if I so can. we have this outlet over here, right? Right. Oh, yeah. She got to move the things at the bottom for a second. Do you do y'all remember this? Do you yeah, all, you all remember these things as kids, right? So we have this this outlet over here, which we we painted the we uh, sometimes yeah, use. The outlet green. But we use this because otherwise the shadow sometimes you can see it. So this this green color we put up on the wall, and I they go back to. So all goes black. It goes to the oh. background. Oh, okay. So, see oh yeah, Miss Linda. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. So I'm just having fun. Anyway, so <coughs> praise God. Um, 
You can do that from wherever you are, from your home, from your office, wherever. We would love to be your producers for your show, and we would love for you to join our network so we can do this cool stuff. Remember, you do not have to be preachy. You don't have to be, you know, a church thing or whatever. Although my team, I'm about to make an announcement here today because I failed to do it earlier this morning, and my team is about to fall out the chair, okay? I promise you. Um, so it doesn't matter where you are. We, we go. You don't have to be a, a preachy program. Here we go. We're looking for... <laughs> see, my team is just... Um, please have a look at our shows. Look at In the Know with Chantal Jackson. Look at My Sister Circle with uh, Coach Dewana, Destined Prophetess for Dewana. Greatness. Grace, uh, Destined, Destined for, for greatness. greatness is an amazing program with Apostle Sharice Lucius, multiple show. Confessions. We have, okay, hold on. You all can't talk to me at the same time. I'm a dude. We have Confession. com Confessions, which is this Karen. like hair-raising show, I have to be honest, of, of people that have been abused in domestic violence. And some of them test them. I mean, literally, sometimes I feel like I'm watching Dateline when I produce that show. I'd be like, they did what now? <laughs> Um, and then Karen we have, Bruce. Then we, have uh, we have a worship. Sound oh, of God. Sound of Heaven, Heaven is an amazing program of worship. Then we have Mom. A little, I keep calling it moments with our day, a little glimpse with, of our day. It's sort of like a bloggy type mm -hmm. thing, um, but it's not. It's like a really cool show, and she, yeah. and she makes our day on the go. She does cooking, <laughs> and she, I mean, driving like, in a car. It's actually, I like, <laughs> shh, don't tell my wife this, even though she's producing, but I really like watching her show because I know what she does during the day now because I'm, <laughs> I'm here and she's at home. Um, so it's the bomb diggity. I'm so excited, guys. I love this show. Money. Huh? Watching her spend your money, right? Now. No, actually, she doesn't. She doesn't. She doesn't show that part all that much, except <laughs> except for when she goes to Jungle Java, which is a great place if you want if you have kids, by the way. Um, so anyway, I I love this. I just love how we've done. We've really come to the end of this. Uh, Ida, you asked me to say something. Oh, you asked me to say. But something? yeah, I I, I do want to say uh, one of the uh, apostles that is getting ready to join us um, next month that um, Chantel had brought. Um, had introduced you to. Oh, the woman of God from, yes. from I think she's from Phila Philadelphia. No, it's okay. Um, from No, we're not going to do that. Philadelphia. I, yes. I, I think she's watching. Yes. Um, and I, I just wanted to say because of the fact that uh, when she heard what we were doing and the type of um, sh uh, the type of ministry or the type of media company that we are. She said uh, to the man of God, she said, you know, I have been waiting for this. She said she had tried other places yep, to take sure her did. show, but she knew that the marketplace was, was something that she had been waiting for because she knew God was calling her out and to do things out in the marketplace and being able not to have uh, so many boundaries that other shows have because we do a host of different shows as you know as we have said earlier as I day had said earlier and there's all kind of different shows that we do besides preaching because we wanted people to be able to use their gifts to be able to use their callings in the way that yep. God has called them so when she heard it uh, she you know just knew instantly just that knew this that. was yeah this and I've was the place. And I've spoken to her several times since. Oh I've my goodness, she's awesome. I, I love her. And possible. she's going to join us next 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 month. She's going to join us soon. We're still working on the okay. start date. Um, so Apostle T Tanika. Mm -hmm. Tanya Tanika, there you go. I, yeah. Okay. So anyway, I, we just listen. Everybody that comes here, if you just need to come meet with us to see the studio, Please. then come on by. Come on. I've said, call our office, 248-653-5401. That's 248-653-5401. Or you can send us an email at hello at mywmg.com. And, and for you pastors, I want to say here locally, that have been ministering and preaching and teaching <laughs> you all it. of these years, and you have been waiting for something fresh. See, because I know when this pandemic came there was a shift there was a pivot and God said that he was resetting he was recalibrating he was repositioning sure he's did. reclaiming okay and so if you're looking for something fresh and this man of God I've watched him <laughs> I've watched him he the other day he I brought somebody in that was you know a pastor and my pastor I just want to give a shout out to Apostle Hogan and Prophetess Hogan and we were discussing with them some of the things he wants to do with his ministry he wants to take his ministry and his television or his media to the next level and I'd already prophesied to blame there's going to be pastors that's going to be calling on you yep. to help 
uh, take their ministry to the next level. It's more than just getting behind the camera and, you know, or sitting at your, your table or whatever it the sure case is. may be. Listen, you don't people have, get boring of that kind yes, of stuff. Yes, okay? you don't they have the backgrounds. You don't have the proper equipment. And so I told him, I said, God, they're going to be calling on you and doing some, you know, just conferring with them, you know, collaborating with them on equipment. And so I was listening to the two of them. I'm just sitting there. I'm like, I don't know what the heck they talking about and all these cameras and wirings and all of this stuff. But that this funny. man, oh God, I saw him in a different light. I didn't, I never told you this. I saw you in a different light that day. Aww. I saw your gift in a way that I've never really saw it before. Because you don't really talk to me about those things. You and the person that you had before that was techie, you did all of the, you know, talking with him and communicating with him. But I looked at you and I'm like, God, what gift this man has. Thank you. That's so sweet. I mean. I'm the, a crybaby, y'all. I'm just saying. I'm a gift big baby. It's so massive. It is so, so great. And never has gone to school for any of the things that he knows. I have never gone to school. I hated never school. Never <laughs> had any kind of real education in those mm -mm. areas. But None of know, the areas, actually. Yes, for I didn't go to school. For, I, okay, so in high school, I did graphic design. And that's actually why I learned to do graphic design was in high school. Um, but after that, I didn't really go. I mean, I took a couple of college classes. Not for me. Um, but no, I didn't learn. E everything Everything about production, I wish I actually should have spoken about this earlier. The, when the Lord spoke to me <laughs> we'll in 2013. We'll talk about it again. We're going to talk about that again this week. But when the Lord spoke to me about doing this, I was laying in the in the back of somebody's house, like in the sunroom in, in Farmington, in Michigan. And I was broke and didn't have any money. And, you know, I was smoking my life away with what little money I had. And, um, and uh the Lord said to me, start a radio station. I said, I don't know how to do that. And I definitely don't have any money to do it. And uh, he literally, sh he showed me what was the end result. And he reverse engineered the whole process for me in my mind. Until we got to the point, I said, okay, well, this is how we start. And I said, now what? He said, now you're ready. And it was over, and I'm, and not to be funny. I, I'm, I'm not over exaggerating. It really took about somewhere between 30 and 60 days for him to teach me how to do the radio part. And then once we got to that point, you know, it just kind of grew. Now, I've learned a lot over since then, but no, I didn't go to school. Didn't go to school for web design or graphic design. Didn't go to school publishing. for learning how to do publishing. That God taught me to. Didn't go to school for how to do web hosting. God taught me that. Didn't go to school for video production. Hey, suck. God taught me that. Didn't go to school for design. God taught me that. Come on. What school God is you going taught to? Me. I went to the, the Holy school Ghost. of the Holy Ghost, baby. <laughs> Ah, school of the Holy Ghost. Now I'm not knocking school for right, those of you. Right. Know, we God God can use whichever way possible He want to. But I want for those of you young people, old people, middle aged people, baby people, elder people, whatever people you are, don't assume that because you haven't gone to school that you can't do something. Don't assume that that you because you don't have a DR in the front of your name or CDL CNDDCL whatever at the end of your name, mm -hmm. yeah, that you don't have the alphabet behind your name that you're not qualified <laughs> or can't do it. Let's remember God didn't design the earth with school in it. School came afterwards for people to learn. But God can teach you. He knows exactly how to teach you. He taught me. He taught me how to do all of this. I didn't know gift. how. Made room my gift you. made room for me. Now, at the first, it was, it was making room a little bit at a time and I couldn't do anything, but it, it's grown over time. You know, we definitely don't lack money now. We definitely need a whole bunch more money to get to where we want to go. Yes. But that's just to be really honest, guys. Production, and, and, and especially when you're doing things for God, is costly. Like marketing costs money. Cameras cost money. Just to be honest, the three cameras we have in here, these are $20,000. And that's three cameras. That doesn't include the lights, doesn't include the, the the computer to run it, doesn't include the internet to run it, doesn't include any of that stuff. Stuff is getting cheaper, but stuff ain't cheap. So anyway, I, I digressed. I didn't I didn't go to school for this. So I need to leave you guys with this announcement. I'm not leaving you with an announcement, but I'm making an announcement um, f for the first time for you guys to hear and for them to hear. Um, so I had this is going to be shocking to them because I've never ever decided to do this. So this is not. Oh my God, I think I just lost my, my soundboard. Um, <laughs> that's gonna be fun. Um, so this is not to take away from what we're already doing, but um, I believe I feel led of the Lord to open up our network 
for a section once we launch our, our website uh, once we launch our platform our streaming platform we're going to open up the platform to churches to be able to stream their services in a special section on our network it's not going to be our, our sort of premier programming per se but you'll be able to stream your service from um, from you know from your service or however you you do it so um, we're getting ready to expand our programming in a whole different Linda's like what just happened because for years I've been like no I'm not doing that no yeah, I'm not doing no that no I'm not doing preaching. that and, yeah. and listen I'm st this is still not going to become TVN or the word network okay mm -hmm. I'm still not doing that because we uh, they have a double that we have enough of that. Yeah. So we are, and in fact, I believe God is shifting us not necessarily to be a Christian network, but a network with Christian values. Mm -hmm. Okay, meaning at the core we are believers. And but let me be clear, I'm not becoming a secular network just mm -hmm. because I felt somebody shift like, oh, he he done love. No, no, no. Mm -mm. We are believers. We're always going to be believers. We're giving glory and honor to God. But we are a network with Christian values, yes. Christian beliefs, and we are prophets. And we're always going to be that way. So the reason I say that is because I've had several people say, hey, um, and I, that's what I believe. I'm not saying we're shift. Uh, we're that's what we're identifying as. Right now, we're still a Christian network. Okay? I'm just gonna say that. Um, but I've had several of my shows that are on now. They said, well, previously we didn't want to come because we thought, you know, you're a prophet. You're gonna be rigid and all that. And I, I, okay. we're not rigid. Okay. So anyway, we're getting ready to do some cool things. If you have not sewn, go ahead. You can sew at the bottom. Let me see if I can do this. Oh, let me try again. <laughs> okay. Um, anyway, so if you have not given yet, please go to Cash App and go to dollar sign my uh, is that my W no dollar sign WMG Global. I can't see that far. If you want to do PayPal, go log into PayPal, go to the send money icon and send to hello at mywmg.com. If you have Venmo, um, you can send it to dollar sign WMG Global. Yes. Um, and if you want to call, call our office today, tomorrow, the rest of the week. Go to call two four eight six five three fifty four zero one. One, or go to the website at www.theone.tv. Um, we take credit cards, we take cash app, we take cash money, we take all your money, some of your money, however you want to give it to us. Um, actually, to God, to Jesus. So, Miss Linda, we've come to the end of this. Okay. Well, we want to, before we go, we do want to take an opportunity to offer the plan of salvation. Yes, please. Uh, there might be somebody out there that has been watching us and you seeing all of the things and all of the people that have been on the air. And all of us, as uh, Prophet Blaine has said, uh, we are believers. And uh, as I gave that word earlier, where, where the word of God says, launch out into the deep. And that is what we want to do. But we're called to be fishers of men. Um, and so we just want, for those of you that have been watching us and you say, wow, this sounds exciting. And it is. Salvation is exciting. Uh, but, uh, being a member of the body of Christ is exciting. And don't let anybody tell you that it is, oh, you got to give up your life. No, you don't. You're gaining life when you become a member of the body of Christ. And so we want you to, uh, if you haven't given your heart to Jesus Christ, that's what we're doing. We're fishers of men, men and women, boys and girls. And so we wanna take this time to offer to you uh, to come into the family of God. And God said, you know, to you know, us, that he would not, that none of us would be lost. He desires everyone to know Jesus Christ as their personal savior. So I wanna offer to you, if you don't know Jesus Christ, I want you to repeat after me say, Jesus, come into my heart. I repent. I know that I'm a sinner, but I can be saved by grace. Yes, and I'm asking you to come into my heart to forgive me for my sins. Wash me from your blood. Wash me with your blood and accept me where I am right now and yes, take God. me into the family of God. Forgive me, love me, wash me. And he said that he will. He said that he would in no ways cast you out. And so we are inviting you into the family of God, into salvation. And then we're asking you to find you a Bible-believing church, a church that is preaching the Word of God. And if you just haven't found it, keep following us. 
Keep following us and keep listening to us and you will come and grow in the Word of God, in the knowledge of God, and in the knowledge of Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. It is a personal thing between you and God and you don't have to be in the church to do it. You can kneel right there in your living room. You can kneel right there beside your bed wherever you are right now. You can ask Him into your heart. And if you ask Him, He said, if you call upon me, I will answer. And so we just want you to know we love you. And then let us know. If you have accepted Jesus Christ, send us a text. You know, let us know some kind of way. Call that number 248-653-5401. And then we will tell you what we need to do because we're going to get some Bibles yes, for we people are. that need to know the Word of God. We're going to do, this prophet is going to be having an online church. So you can, you know, until you find you a physical church, you can, that's right, you can get online and you can learn and know the Word of God. <laughs> that's right. And so we I just want you to know, it doesn't that. have to just be the prophet. It could be e either of us. We're all ministers here. That's right. And so we are, we're asking you. Linda just got a new revelation. That's right. Go ahead, go ahead. We're just asking you, you know, to join us on this journey. And be free. Be free in Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh, I, I, was trying to, I was trying to tell my wife to put on the camera. I, the Holy Spirit just checked me on something. And you know, I'm always about being transparent. So the Lord said, no, you are a Christian network. But you are a Christian network that is going to represent me differently. Mm -hmm. So I take that back. We're not a network with Christian values. The Lord said to, to restructure, to, to go back. We are a Christian network, a Christian network that is going to represent him and is representing him differently. It just uh -huh. doesn't mean we have to be rigid and, uh, yeah. That's okay, right. we're not because going to be we're a part of the ship. Because we are part of the shift That's and we right. are part of, we are kingdom minded, minded network. network. That's right. Okay. We are so called to reach the kingdom. We are God. called to reach the kingdom. So listen, um, from myself and Linda, thank yes. you so much for doing this with yes, me. It's been yes, so yes, much yes, fun. Yes, 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 um, yes. I'm, I'm just so excited you guys got to watch. I hope you enjoyed the program. This is the end of our time here tonight. We'll be back here this week. Um, not necessarily the same time, um, same place, but not necessarily okay. the same time. Just keep so watching online. Just keep watching. Yeah, and, we'll put uh, it up, you know, Maybe before. during the day, maybe mm -hmm. in the afternoon, maybe in the evening. But we are going to be back with some more of the cool programs that we have produced because um, we need to shift over into the, the Woodbridge building and then from there on. So we we love you all. Um, make sure you give. Those are the opportunities to give. We love you. Go. God bless you. I know it's like so weird, isn't it? Um, <laughs> we love you. God bless you. Thank you for standing, spending your Sunday yes. evening with us. Yes. And uh, we will talk to you all really soon. God bless Bye. you. Peace out. Deuces. Yes.